So, someone asked me yesterday if I could do the 100% in 20 hour speedrun achievement. Um, I am going to be using the randomizer version. I'm not going to actually be randoing things, but I will be using the randomizer version just so that I can use the tracker because of that mod. So that's that thing on the left. That'll make it easier for people to follow what's going on. You can see my mods here. I may as well use Custom Night, why not? Uh, the player data dump is what allows the tracker to read, but as you can see, I have everything else that would make it faster turned off. So, those are the mods I'll be using. Um, I don't really have like a solid route in my head. I'm mostly going to be following like the normal speedrun route. For the most part. There are some things that we're going to be skipping. So what I'm going to be skipping specifically is all of the God Home content. So we're not even going to go in that direction, uh, which includes the four pantheons. The first four pantheons are percentages and the God Tuner is a percentage. So that's five right there. Um, we're going to be skipping the entire Grim quest. Um, but we will be waking up Grim to get the Grim Child charm, because the charm itself is a percentage no matter how much it's upgraded. Um, we're going to be skipping the Awoken Dream Nail and Seer Ascension, so we're only going to need 700 Essence from Seer, and if I decide to maybe get Dreamgate... Dreamgate isn't a percentage, but it might be helpful, so I might end up in the run deciding to get that, I'm not sure yet. Um, we're not going to be fighting any bosses. Any, uh, I mean, any dream bosses. So dream bosses are not a percentage, uh, but dream warriors all are. So that's like Galian, Marmu, Markoth, etc. All of those, those are percentages. Hey, Shirley. Um, we're going to be skipping one entire Mask Shard, and the ones that we're going to be skipping are Flower Quests, uh, the Seer one, because that one's 1500 Essence, I think. I don't remember. I looked at it before. Um... Guardian, so the Crystal Guardian and Enraged Guardian fight, we don't really need those. Um, and Fungal Core. The reason I chose Fungal Core out of all of the possible mass shards is it's just the most out of the way one that, I mean, it's not really difficult to get to, it's just pretty far out of the way. Um, so King Soul, Woken Dream Nail, Seer Ascension. Oh, Kalo 3. We're gonna be skipping Kalo 3, but we have to do the first two Kalos because the dream, I mean not the dream, the nail upgrades are percentages, so we need to do Kalo 2 for the Pale Ore. Yeah, I'm doing this, cow. <laughs> I'm doing it. Somebody asks, if somebody asks, I'll, I'll do something. You just have to ask. <laughs> so yeah, um, nail upgrades, we need all of the Pale Ore. Uh, dream nail, HP upgrades, we're only gonna get three, three? Three extra masks. Did I do that right? Four extra masks. No, three, because there's four. Okay, yeah. So three extra masks. We're getting all of the soul upgrades, uh, all of the um, skills, or anything that can be classified as a skill. Um, dreamers are 1% each. Dream warriors are 1% each. We're going to get all of those. Um, the only bosses we're not going to be doing are Kalo 3, obviously. Um, the two grim fights. Can I run any percent? I have that one on YouTube already. Uh, we're not skipping any other bosses. We will do Hive. I thought about taking Hive out and then I realized that we have to go in there for the grub anyway because we will be getting all of the grubs and getting Elegy because all of the grubs are pretty easy to get to. They're all pretty simple. Um, we're getting all of the charms except for King Soul. Um, I think that's it. I think that about covers the preface of this whole thing. So I don't really have like an organized way in my head to get this yet. But uh... It, it'll be fine. Oh hey DJ. Alright, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna start recording unless in case our internet dies. So non-randomizer, I'm not randomizing anything. <laughs> This is completely vanilla with the exception of the player data tracker, which I would have to install on my vanilla file and I'm not okay with doing that with my vanilla file. See, I can't even skip these cutscenes. Gross. I'm so spoiled to being able to kip, skip cutscenes in rando. I don't think this is going to take 10 hours though. Let me make sure my timer starts. Hey Dream Shield, how are you? Okay good, my timer started.
All right, so first thing we're gonna do, <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, that was my cat running down the hall at full speed, but, um, well, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of skips, but there are some that I will be doing. Getting, oh wait, that's a skip. <laughs> I always forget every time I do one of these tutorials that that's a skip, but I mean, it's not like a serious skip. Mosquito Pogo. I'm sorry, that's like my muscle memory. Imagine actually getting Mantis Claw. All right, anyway, so the first thing we're gonna do is get Fury. But I'm coming up here to this door first. Because this is a hard a hard save. We're gonna be abusing hard saves and abusing benches a lot. So whenever you leave this door, you wanna come out just a little bit, like to about here-ish, and then go back in. Because if you like just immediately hold left, the game isn't gonna hard save you there. You wanna go out a little bit. And the reason that we do that is because of it's a lot faster to just save to that rather than going all the way back around. I'm also not going to be using the bench warp, which is the thing that's at the top. That's another um, rando thing. I'm not starting over. This is already going to take forever. <laughs> I always look like a mudkip though, Dream Shield. Literally all the time. Let me see if I can resist the urge to put on Fury. Elder Buck is the cool dude. <laughs> We're gonna have the uh, rando dialogue. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright, so we're just gonna make our way over here. Go through crossroads as normal. Like I said, most of this is gonna be following like the typical speedrun route. Because the speedrun route is really good. It's pretty fast. Pretty efficient way of getting things done. Hey Lisbon's morning. Yeah, I, I saw all the new stuff about the Switch. No, I was hoping to make it up to that ledge. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of things that I don't like that Nintendo is doing. It makes me kind of sad. Alright, so our save location currently doesn't matter, so if you don't feel confident about your false knight fight, go ahead and bench here. It's not really a huge deal, because whenever we pick up Vengeful Spirit, that's going to be a hard save anyway. So let's just keep moving here for now. Um, I'm also going to try to pick up all of the relics I can, because I don't know... Ow. <laughs> I like forgot what I was doing as I was talking. <laughs> so I just like forgot. Normally I pogo him and then like continue going to the left, but I forgot completely. Don't do what I just did. You don't need that Geo. Do I have to get it twice? <laughs> I was like thinking about relics and like blacked out. I'm sorry. Yeah, I needed to get into Fury, obviously. This fight triggers whenever you hit that part of the arena. He takes 13 hits to go down. Go ahead and heal in between phases. And he takes eight hits whenever he's staggered. Go ahead and tank these hits. You can't die, I promise. As long as you have like three to four health points, you literally can't die. Just don't like stay in his hitbox or anything. The most you can take is two, as long as you don't stop swinging. Alright, that should be it. 
So I made a checklist for myself. Well, that's not in the hitbox. I'm talking about in his body, because you'll take an extra hit if you're inside of his body. All right, so uh, false knight is a thing. Let's mark that off. Fury is a thing. Where do I have fury? I have like a checklist in front of me. <laughs> I'm gonna do the five hour speeder. I already have that one on YouTube. I have the five hour any percent on YouTube. All right. Um. So what have I done so far? I got Fury. I got False Knight. False Knight is a percentage. Yeah, you can do them both in one save. So if you have done the any percent one. You can very easily just go back and basically do cleanup and try to fill in the blanks. All right, so Vengeful Spirit is a skill. Let's mark that one off. So skills are 1% each. Uh, I can link the pace bin that shows all of the percentages and how they're tallied in the description, I guess. Um, certain skills like Crystal Heart, Monarch Wings, stuff like that, those are all 2%. And then like the skills like spells that there are two versions of are 2% together. So they're 1% each. I'm probably going to end up doing this Mosquito Poco. You don't have to do this. <laughs> it saves like half a second if that... Oh fuck, he's in a bad spot anyway. It literally saves jumping to the other platform. It's just the habit that I have. Don't be mad. Come on. Alright, that guy's dead. And now we get Soul Catcher. Soul Catcher is a percentage. Got it. Stop intimidating people. I'm not intimidating anyone. Yeah, I've seen that before. I don't know how to do that, though. You can feel free to bench here, because, uh... I mean, we don't really... Actually, you know what? Let's let's equip Soul Catcher. Why not? Go ahead and bench here and equip Soul Catcher. Um, Soul Catcher helps you a very small amount. Um, it gives you... 8 hits to fill your container instead of nine hits to fill your container so it's a really really small increase like you don't have to use that at all so we have to kill the balder let's fill up our soul yeah see eight to fill up the container no voice pepe hands Any day now. You know what? I'm leaving. Dude, is this spit world record? Am I getting spit world record in a fucking tutorial? Somebody go back and count that. Please, somebody go count it. Seriously. I, I wasn't counting at all. Spit world record, I think, is 15. I don't know how many that was, but that was way worse than I've ever gotten. Clip, please. Oh. Counting with Baldur gone wild. <laughs> uh. No, I'm not doing a 20 hour speed run. There's an achievement in Hollow Knight achievements list uh, that is 100% in 20 hours or less. So basically, I'm doing a tutorial on how to do that. Okay, so remember how in the any percent tutorial, I was like, okay, you can do these skips like this, or you can do the mosquito, which is pretty simple. He never does what I want him to do, ever. 
All right, so there's the mosquito pogo. Basically anything to get up here. But if you're not comfortable with doing any of those skips, nobody's gonna judge you. It's fine. I'll go ahead and go around to show you guys how to do it. Yeah, OBS is just a streaming software. I don't really want to talk about streaming software right now though, because, you know, I'm doing a tutorial. I do use OBS for recording and streaming though. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, whoops, my B, I forgot. So if you're not comfortable with what I just did, you just want to pogo and get up here. Oh, right, there's a, uh, I, I forgot how to do this casually, I'm sorry. There's a block here. Okay, yeah, do that to get up there. Don't, don't do this, or you can do the spike pogos, whatever. <laughs> so we're gonna end up coming back here later so don't actually should i do these grubs right now hmm see i don't really have like anything planned i guess if you go this way you can do these grubs right now it's just you'll have to do a skip to get to this one watch so line him up like that, and then you wait for him to come back, and then pogo. So you can get that grub like that, and not have to come back this way later. If that's something you're willing to do. Yeah, I'm basically following the speedrun routing for the most part, but there's a lot of stuff that I know a casual player wouldn't be that comfortable with. For instance, Darkroom Jonies or Crystal Peaks Darkroom or whatever. So I'm just gonna like try to nerf that route a little bit and make it a little bit more easy. Um, I'm gonna put it on YouTube. I put the any percent one on YouTube and someone commented asking for their 100% guide. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, the player data tracker or the player data dump is the thing that shows what you what you have. So I have that on the screen so that people can follow what I currently have. It'll make it a little bit easier to like do this tutorial and demonstrate like what items I have at what point. Also, I've been killing a lot more enemies than I actually need to. Killing enemies is kind of a waste of time. You don't really want to do that. Uh, also, Geo is going to be a little bit tight. So I'm trying to think like what Geo items I want to get. I'm probably going to get all of the Geo items I can. Oh, hey, Alexa. Thanks for the good luck. Can you don't be right there, please? Thank you. All right. So as I mentioned in the Any% Percent tutorial, the Moss Knights die to one nail hit and three fireballs. So that's like, I think 50 HP? Because each fireball without Shaman Stone is 15. So we're gonna do a nail hit as he's spawning and then three fireballs. So make sure you come into this room with full soul. Super easy fight. I remember the first time I did this casually, I got fucking destroyed by him. Um, I also think that we should probably save Zoat. Not because of saving Zoat, but Vengefly King gives us a lot of Geo, so I think that we should just do that for Geo. <laughs> save Zoat on principle. Fuck, I missed. Oh, also, if you stand on these side platforms instead of standing on the main platform, Vengefly King will never get to attack you. He'll only attack you if you're standing on this platform right here. So you can abuse that mechanic by pushing him off to the side and hitting him off on these side platforms. Fuck off, so it. Alright, so... I think I want to get this Geo too. Um, you can play pretty safe against these guys. One nail hit, three fireballs. You know the drill. A nail hit is five damage, by the way. 
Don't follow this guy to miss a bully. <laughs> you can also hit their shield and then pogo them, which also makes it pretty easy. Let's grab this Geo just because I don't know like how much Geo I need. Dora Stream, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Alright, so this grub we're gonna save later. Don't worry about that one right now. Gonna go ahead and open the stag. Feel free to bench here if you uh, aren't comfortable with your hornet fight. Because we're just gonna stag back to dirt mouth anyway. It's a little bit faster to keep your bench at um at Ancestral Mound though. Because it's a little bit closer to Fungal, which is the next place that we're gonna be going. So Hornet Stagger is at six hits, I believe. You can just like abuse her staggers. And if she does that move, it resets her stagger. Easy fight. Alright, so even if you benched at that stag, as soon as you physically can, after picking up Mothwing Cloak, you want to save and quit. Because there's a cutscene with the dreamers and it does clock up your in-game time. So just save and quit out of there. Okay, you full. Yeah, I'm uploading it to YouTube. All right, so Hornet 1 is a percentage. Let me mark that one off. Uh, Vengefly King is not a percentage, which is really surprising. Um, so Hornet 1, we got Mothwing Cloak. That's a skill, so that's a percentage. Um, Mothwing Cloak, Mothwing Cloak, where are you? Oh, I'm blind. Um, what else? Is there anything else that we picked up while we were there? I don't think there was anything else. Okay. I think that was all we had. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to Dirt Mouth. <laughs> Zote doesn't deserve my, my help. I'm so grateful that the Dirt Mouth Stag is always available to be stagged to. It saves so much pain. Alright, let's go ahead and bench here. Or keep your, your mound bench if you're not using a different bench. Always break that sign. <laughs> you're gonna see me break that sign about 30 more times. <laughs> It's really important to break that sign because we might get to see Menderbug. See, you can come from this way if, uh, which is significantly faster if you do keep your, your mound bench. But I'm going to be doing everything in the most roundabout way possible while explaining the faster methods so that you can do what you're comfortable with when you choose to do this. If you choose to do this. Alright, so all we're gonna do in this area right now is um we're gonna grab the nice ledge cancel pug. I'm sorry I just did speed tech but it's really cool and I go for it every time and I can never get it in a speed run of course I get it right now. So we're gonna grab this charm notch just because it's gonna make things a little bit easier for us later. Try to use spells as often as you can, by the way. Spells do significant damage compared to, to your nail. And if you use them in conjunction like that, you can do really huge DPS all at once. I missed like every hit, no. <laughs> Heck. Oh, hey, Kento. I'm sorry if I miss anything in chat, too, by the way. I'm not really reading chat too, too much because I'm trying to focus more on, like, not forgetting to explain something. 
and not like going to autopilot so that I, I forget to explain things. Alright, so let's grab these. May as well. I'm gonna pick up every Geo that I can think to grab that's worth grabbing. Um, I'm also not gonna do the Explosion Pogo. If you're playing on console, the Explosion Pogo is pretty consistent, but it's still really difficult compared to the older patch one that you may have seen if you've ever seen a Hollow Knight speedrun. Uh, they, they patched it out, but they patched it out in a really stupid way. So you can still damage boost to get up there. Like, you pogo spore and then you damage boost, but it's very difficult to actually pull off in current patch. And with my current FPS, I can't physically do it on this PC because the amount that you get thrown back after taking a hit is FPS dependent. So you, you literally can't get enough height to actually do it on a good PC. All right, uh, I was gonna do the Mantis pogo out of muscle memory, but then I realized that this is a tutorial for casual players. Can you guys die, please? Thank you. No, it's just one of the mods, DJ. Alright, so we have Mantis Claw. Let me mark that one off. Mantis Claw is one of the ones that are 2% on its own. <laughs> yeah, I need to, like, delete speedrun skips from my brain. Alright, so we're gonna open this, but we're not gonna do this right now. It's faster to go back around, but you don't have to go this way. You could just wait for the door to open. I mean, it saves, like, a couple of seconds or something. Hey, Ira, thank you for the host. All right, gonna grab this. <laughs> gonna heal a little bit, cause why not? Again, like I mentioned in the any percent tutorial, try not to heal too, too much because it's a little bit, it, it does waste time and it does add up. But I mean, 20 hours is a crazy amount of time to be able to accomplish all of this. So yeah, we're gonna save this grub. Like 20 hours, there's no way that you can't complete 100%. Which isn't even like the hardest part. Like I'm skipping all of the really long or really difficult stuff. There's some things that are decently fast. Like, uh, I mean, White Palace is pretty fast, but I'm skipping it for the sake of difficulty to make it easier. Do this platforming however you're comfortable with. I'm just doing it how I do it in speedruns. You accidentally completed this. <laughs> I actually completed this um, while making my practice files for all skills in 106%. That's, that's how I completed both. Thank you for the follow, Doc Vader. Welcome. Alright, so make our way down here. Go ahead and bench next to Quirrell. Hey friend, what's up? Yeah, it definitely should be under 10 hours. 20 hours is like a lot of time. Alright, we want to get on this platform. Um, oh, something important to mention. Um, I will not be getting dream- I will not be getting- why do I keep calling the nail dream nail? Um, I will not be getting nail upgrades until very, very late. Reason being, um, so a lot of bosses, including dream warriors, all of which we have to kill, um, scale with your nail. So we're just not gonna get nail upgrades at all because they're gonna melt to spells. We don't want to give them a ton of HP because they die a lot faster and faster equals easier like most of the time. <laughs> I'll show you guys how to do all of the quick kills on those guys as soon as we get there. I'm also playing in English instead of Chinese. Chinese is faster um, but I figured I should probably 
play in English, because that's the language most of you are probably going to be playing the achievement in. Alright, I'm going to kill this guy because he's kind of a dick. You don't have to kill him. could just go around him. Yeah, you could probably follow any old guide and get this particular achievement. Heck off! I did it. <laughs> Wind's gathering swarm way later. Sorry, Shelly. Alright, knock this up here, by the way, and leave it there. You're never, ever, ever gonna need to take that elevator down. Ever. Hey, J-Wolf. How are you? Uh, it's going okay. Alright, let me kill this guy just because he's in the way. It's being a nuisance. Uh, we're gonna be doing Hive Knight? Hive Knight? So, the things that I'm skipping I listed at the beginning of the video. So this guy dies to... Well... He dies to one nail hit and two vengeful spirits, but he gave me a really bad pattern there. <laughs> so I didn't even do it. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with your soul sanctum, Feel free to go over in this direction, and there is a breakable wall up here that you can um, get to where Cornifer is, and go ahead and bench early. I'm not gonna bench though. Once you pick up D Dive, D Dive is a hard save. So it doesn't matter if you bench, you're still gonna have to escape the same way. Soul Sanctum is a butt though, for sure. Use this elevator opportunity to heal. Don't... Healing on an elevator is basically not losing time healing. I don't really have too much advice for fighting this guy. Um, just try to hit him from like... Okay, see where his, his nail is? Try to hit him from like about this distance. And odds are you'll double hit him, which is very, very useful. Getting double hits means that you're doing 30 damage with your VS instead of 15. So that's like a huge buff. And damage. Can you do Soul Sanctum without choking? No, expect at least 20% chokes. <laughs> it's impossible to not choke Soul Sanctum. Oh, I double hit him! Are you kidding me? And I wasted soul. Ouch. Can you fuck off, please? Soul Sanctum is the worst area in the game, hands down. Yeah, double hits are based on distance. Um, also the size of your spell. Ow. So it's easier to do with Shaman Stone for that reason. Worst boss is Sly. Sly is still one of my worst bosses. To this day. Alright, boss intros are gonna be skipped. Because that's part of the rando thing too. So when he does this attack, try to pogo him. Alright, so what I'm trying to aim for... You never want to fireball towards the outer section of the arena. You always want to fireball, fireball towards the inside of the arena. Reason being, um, he, he usually likes to teleport out of attacks, unless you know that he's stuck there. Like, I just did that because he, um, he was staggered. I don't know how many hits it is to stagger, but, um, basically, you'll see me doing something where I do a nail hit, and then I cancel with a fireball quick cast, and then I do another nail hit. And that's a really good way of managing soul. And doing a lot of damage at once. He's too high to fireball. Nice. You also don't have to do the hits coming down like I'm gonna be doing here.
That's a lot of dives, man. Radiance. <laughs> no, not Radiance, Soul Master. There's a reason I don't do the Fury fight there. Alright, so Soul Master is a percentage, Twister is a percentage. Um, got those. Custom Knight is not needed for this guide. I just decided to use it because I'm doing the rando patch anyway. Uh, fireball takes longer to cast. So the way it works, if you do this fireball and this fireball, you can actually see the difference between how fast it takes to cast it. Um, so the heal button checks to see if you're holding it. And quick cast just knows instantly, like, oh, you're pressing that to cast a fireball. So quick cast is significantly faster. It doesn't do a check to see if you're holding it, so it fires immediately instead of, like, a couple of frames later. So grab that seal. Um, there's something called fake dive. So see how this is, like, rattling? You want to, like, not be over the rattling part. Okay, it didn't give it to me. And check the other side. Really? It's not gonna give me fake dive in the tutorial? Fuck. Okay, well, I was gonna show both ways anyway, so... That's the fake dive method. But you can always just come back around and save the grub. We do need to save all of the grubs, so... Fuck this place, dude. All right, we're not coming back to Soul Sanctum. Soul Sanctum's dead, Hollow D. There's nothing else we need here. Don't worry too much about your health at this point. You don't really need it anymore. Still haven't learned which key is quick cast. Wait, really? You don't play with controller, do you? Quick cast is, um, the... You don't have to do that the way that I just did it. I just like doing it like that. <laughs> um, quick cast is like the right small bumper. Alright, so we're gonna buy this bench. Oh, dang. Uh, go ahead and put on Twister. Twister allows you to do four spells instead of three with your soul container, and again, spells are really good. Oh, maybe you have to bind it, yeah. I don't know. Um, next up, we're- hold on, did I even mark? Yeah, I did, okay. I'm trying to remember to mark all of the things that I need to mark. Let's make our way through this absolutely terrible room that I hate. This guy's such a dick, dude. I literally hate this room. It's only easy whenever you're going through it fast. Come on, I need to kill him. They died at two nail hits and a fireball, by the way. So, if you are struggling with them, fireball is very helpful. If you don't go through this room fast, it's so hard. <laughs> They're such dicks. Alright, so we normally, in a speedrun, this is where I think it, it's gonna really start to deviate. Um, we normally don't we normally open the stag, basically, but we, we open that stag so that we can come back and get Grimchild later. There's no other reason to need to open that. So let's just grab this relic. Um, like I said, I'm going to pick up all of the relics that I can because I'm not sure what money I'm actually going to need. And we're also going to be doing a lot less money related things. For instance, Kalo 3, that's like 2000 Geo that we're not getting. So I'm not sure how I'm going to make that up yet. I think I'm just going to get extra relics and hope that it's enough. If it's not, I'll figure out something. <laughs> Don't worry. So we need that key to get into the sewer later. I'm 
go down here. We need this vessel fragment, so we have one out of three vessel fragments. We're going to be getting every vessel upgrade. So Grease Mom is really easy if you have dive like we do. Um, you want to pogo dive, pogo dive. And if you get a really unlucky pattern where she goes up instead of down and stays on the ground, um, use VS instead. Because she's kind of annoying about that. You know what? Maybe I should have opened that sag, actually. Yeah, VS is fireball. I think I explained that in the any percent one, though. Alright, let's see if we get a lucky cleanup. Uh, whenever the ground starts to shake and stuff, that's whenever she's about to explode. So you can more easily time uh, when it's gonna happen like that. Save Sly. You haven't, you haven't watched the any percent one? It's okay. I mean, I'm gonna be repeating a lot of the same stuff anyway. Alright, so we are gonna buy Steady Body here, and we're also gonna buy Shaman Stone, and then we're gonna buy- oh wait, I can't get the Charm Notch yet? What, what charm did I not pick up? Did I forget a charm? Did I forget a charm? What did I not get? Huh. Oh no. No, it's not compass. I think this might be a glitch with the uh, rando situation. Because saluber notches aren't viable. Like, it automatically gives you saluber notches. Fuck, I didn't think about that. I mean, I thought playing on vanilla would fix that, but maybe not. So, normally you would buy a charm notch there. I don't know, whatever. No, I don't want to start over. It's already been a half hour. And I would have to play on vanilla. And the tracker won't work on vanilla. I don't even know what charm I would have missed. Anyways, buy this. You don't need to bench. So let's just make our way. I just realized I don't want to do skips. Make our way to Crystal Peaks. Fuck, I can't play this game. <laughs> oh right, we need to save the scrub. I did save the grub on the other side of Crossroads, right? Okay. It's okay. Notches are going to be a little bit confusing, but... Save the scrub. Well, the tracker mod, I would have to install it on my vanilla version, which I'm not comfortable with doing. My vanilla version is 100% vanilla. Because it has to be for me to be able to do speedruns on it. Inventory, that, that was what I just did, by the way. Inventory drops are faster. Um, in current patch, it's a lot easier to do it on stuff like that, where like there's a flat surface that you're standing on and then the ground disappears beneath you. It saves a very small amount of time. If you if ow. If you don't want to do that, then don't do that. It's fine. But yeah, um, so the tracker still uses the modding API, which isn't legal for vanilla. For speedruns. You can dive through this guy for the iframes. 
gonna save this grub real quick. So the way I go through this room is very specific, that way I can go directly in between all of the cycles. I kind of messed up there a little bit because you're not supposed to get hit by him. So there's a skip here that I mentioned in the any percent. Um, if you're not comfortable with doing this type of skip, you can wait to get this later whenever we do have wings and we'll come back in this direction again. So it's not like a huge deal that you can't do this skip. Heck, I failed the backup. I'm just trying to kill this guy. So he dies to seven hits or two fireballs and one nail hit. Or four nail hits in one fireball. Ow, what? Why? I'm getting bodied. We need Slice Key. I did get that um, King's Idol, right? Because we need it. Okay. Um... I want the soul, um, because I'm gonna get this Wonders Journal. You have to turn off the sound to be able to concentrate. So, yeah, we're gonna get this one. You can fireball through that and kill these guys. That way you have time to pick this up. All right, make sure you open this, because we're going to need this later. Heck, I tried to do the inventory drop. Dive instead. So I mentioned uh, quick cycle, and I fucked it up in the any percent tutorial. Uh, I'm going to try to do quick cycle damageless correctly this time. Fuck, I failed it! Why do I always fail it? What? That hitbox was still out? I always fail it during the tutorial. I don't understand why. I can do it fine in speedruns and I can't do it in while I'm explaining it. I'm thinking too much about it. <laughs> it's so funny. Alright, so um... Crystal Heart is 2%. I'm a terrible teacher. I'm also a terrible router. I really am. <laughs> I wish I didn't suck, but I do. I'm sorry. Alright, so we need to save the scrub. Feel free to stock up on soul. So, you want to dash whenever the crusher hits the floor. And for this one, you just walk across. Super easy. And you can take this opportunity to heal. <laughs> Well, that's because I'm playing a video game. Hold on, I, I just realized I forgot something important. Okay, got it. And again, now that we have Crystal Dash, I mentioned in the any percent one, uh, Crystal Dash is your fastest form of movement. You want to try to use it as often as you can. Um, if you're not using Dash Master, Crystal Dash does the equivalent of four dashes. That chest over there only has 85 Geo in it. It's pretty useless. We're not going to grab that. Alright, so normally what we would do 
is go through this dark room. But since you guys are probably not comfortable with the dark room, um, if you are comfortable with the dark room, feel free to get that right now. But we're gonna go back around and leave Crystal Peaks now. Oh wait, I can't. Fuck. Um. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I know what I want to do. So, we're gonna save now. I think we still have the bench near Soul Sanctum. Right? Yeah, okay. So, try to keep the bench at Soul Sanctum then. For sure. Yeah, get Lantern. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah, so save and quit after saving that grub. And we'll fight the Serena. Like, we still need to, um... So yeah, I think you're gonna need to get that King's Idol. I think you're gonna need that King's Idol. So we need 800 for the Elegant Key, and we need 1800 for the Lantern. Is this gonna be enough? How much is that? 2600? 2600. Yeah, this might actually be enough. Okay, so... Hello? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Alright. So yeah, you do need to do that skip in Crystal Peaks, unfortunately. So we're gonna go back here. I guess it would be faster to bench at that stag, actually. Hmm. Oh wait, Crystal Dash. We have Crystal Dash! <laughs> Heck, I forgot. That room is a lot easier to go through if you're going fast. If you let them gang up on you, it's all over. It's all over. Oh. Really? It's a good game. How much does this cost? 200? We'll still have enough. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have to open all the stags anyway for people that don't want to do the mosquito pogo skip. But the mosquito pogo skip is very easy. Alright, we want to keep that same bench too, by the way. So, we're gonna buy the elegant key. And then we're gonna buy the lantern. I don't think we need anything else right now. That's all we need right now. Go back to crossroads. Elegant key and stuff's not a percentage, I don't think. Keep that same bench, too. Because we're going to go back to uh, Soul Sanctum. Because we still need Shade Soul. But now that we have Lantern, we can go through this door. <laughs> Dash above pinch. That's how you know I'm playing with analog. It's true. All right, now we can go through this room without having to use stuff 
do it however you're comfortable with. Um, I'm gonna do it how I'm comfortable with, which is the darkroom normal way to do it. And we're gonna crystal dash across to go to Descending Dark. There's a grub in here that we need to save, and we need um, the skill, obviously. The skill itself is 1%. The grub goes towards maximum grub completion. Ow, what a fucking asshole. Kills him on principle. I do that sometimes. Again, you can do this room however you feel comfortable with. Alright, and that gives us the dark. Oh, I never marked dive. Whoops. Accidentally benching at the wrong bench is the worst, because that means you have to go all the way back. <laughs> to where you wanted to be. And like, that's that's one of the most important things in this route, actually, is being able to bench back to places. Oh yeah, this is skipped. I forgot about that. See, there's some stuff that I can't really change that like is changed with the rando version, even if I am playing the vanilla thing. You can do this platforming however you feel comfortable with. I'm just doing it how I feel comfortable with. Alright, Dream Nil is a percentage. Let's mark that off. Where is it? Oh. There we go. Hi, Seer. Bye, Seer. Alright, let's get Dream Gate, I mean Dream Shield while we're here. Uh, you can do the Shade Skip if you want to, but um, the route doesn't really call for it. There's no benefit to having Dream Nail early. Let me mark off uh, Dream Shield. Alright, after you get Dream Shield, go ahead and quit, I guess. Back to our Soul Sanctum bench. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it's not really, not really worth it. Yeah, it automatically gave us the Charm Notch. Okay, so we're going to be getting automatic Charm Notches instead of buying them. That kind of sucks because that's not going to be accurate. Heck. I'm not sure. Yeah, the 1xx categories don't do shade skip. Because it is slower to go that way. Dive is your most DPS right now. With Shaman Stone, D-Dart does... Um, 88 damage, so it's a significant amount of damage. That's your best move right now, and we're about to get Shade Soul. So, Shade Soul. Where is it? Well, the reason um, that other categories get Dream Nil sooner is because, um, I mean, True Ending has to get it before fighting Elder Who. So they, they fight all their who before they even get claw. And then like any percent and other stuff. The goal is to get the dreamers as quickly as possible. So it makes sense to, you know, rush those things. Rush dream nail. Uh, 
how much was that charm notch? 500? So you probably would be short a little bit of Geo. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, maybe farm enemies? Fight the guy that's in... Um, fight the guys that, that are in Crossroads. Until you have enough Geo. I guess I'm not really sure. Because that, that's kind of shitty. I didn't think about that. So anyways, we're going to go fight Dung Defender now. What do you mean? No, we're not going to be fighting the Radiance. You don't have to fight the Radiance for this achievement, actually. Dung Defender is a percentage and so is Defender's Crest. I can hit you. That was a really weird way to scream skip that. <laughs> Alright, Dung Defender. Done. Yeah, Chespin's the starter that we pick in XY speedruns. Um, only because we only use him for a little bit, and he has the best attack. Like, the best damage value attack. Alright, so we're doing this the completely casual way. So, we do need to hit the switch. I'm not going to be doing the acid skips. But it's time to get Yzma's tier. Getting all the skills as quickly as possible is definitely helpful. I'm not super familiar with the way through here, because I never did this casually. I'm sorry. <laughs> you kind of are, though. Sorry. Ah, fuck off. Alright, so we're gonna go down this way. So, a really cool thing that a lot of people don't know, let's get that guy out of the way, is that you can dream nail these guys for soul. If you're ever in a bind, go ahead and dream nil a rancid egg enemy thing. Alright, we're gonna go up here though. Ah, uh, which way is it? Is it this way? I think it's this way. Yeah, this is the area that's full of acid if you don't hit the switch. I remember... Remember, spells are your best friends. Most enemies die to one hit of Shade Soul. Very, very, very easy arena. It's one of the reasons that we get Shade Soul so early. Alright, so we have Yzma's Tear. I think that's one of the 2% ones. I thought about putting a, a like, tracker, <laughs> kind of like I used to do for Pokemon Let's Go speedruns, because we needed 50 Pokemon, and like counting up every time. But then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have to remember. I'm gonna have to remember every single percentage. And that's a lot of work. You, this is a weird thing, look at this. There's no body around him. This is the normal water animation, look at him. That's the normal water animation, that's not the acid animation. And watch, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's only in this room, but once you go here, it has like the bubble around him like it's supposed to have, see? 
Because the acid's supposed to be repelled. Like, I don't know why. Did Team Cherry not notice that they messed up the animation there? Because I noticed that the other day. Do it pre-patch with Fluke. <laughs> no. People would be mad at me if I did that. Alright, so we're gonna go to Basin now. We don't need to pick up the key that we pick up in 112% speedruns because that key is literally so that we can get into God Home. And we are not even going to God Home. The shortest time I've beaten X and Y. I already forgot my PB. I know it's a 345. I'm, I think I'm still third place. I'm third place in like every Pokemon game I run now because I've been running Hollow Knight instead. Alright, so we're not fighting any of the bosses. Like, any of the dream bosses. We have to fight bosses because bosses are percentages. But the dream bosses are not percentages. I really like that about Hollow Knight, actually. You're never required to do, like, the extra hard content. Except for God Home, for some reason. Alright, so I'm not gonna do the, uh... The skip here. There's a skip that you can do where if you dash at the wall, you can jump off and like skip that whole area. But it only saves like a couple of seconds, so I mean, it's not really that fast. By no means required, unless you want to be swaggy about it. Alright, normally I would heal during the boss's spawn animation, but he spawns immediately in Rando. Again, remember, distance equals double hits. Whenever he starts doing this attack, jump and dive. Really, really easy fight. Yeah, that's 5% that's that I'm going to be skipping. So I went over the percentages that we're going to be skipping at the beginning of the run, but I guess I can go over it again. So, God Home content, which means the God Tutor, and then the three, I mean, the four Pantheons. Uh, that's 5% right there. We're gonna be skipping the entire Grim quest, but we do need to wait Grim up. That way we can get, uh, the Grim Child charm. The only charm we're gonna be skipping is King Soul, uh, because we're not gonna get... We're not gonna get the Awoken Dream now. Oh hey Toasty, Gah. I haven't seen you in a really long time, have you been okay? Alright, we need to go save the scrub. Alright, and we can save and quit back to our bench now. You're okay, good. <laughs> uh, so, Seer Ascension, uh, King Soul, Awoken Dream Nail, Kalo 3, we're skipping an entire mask, uh, we're skipping the entire Grim Troop quest line, but we're gonna get the charm and all of the God Home content, and all of that equals 112, I mean, all of that equals 12%, that's the 12% that I'm gonna be skipping. It's basically, I, I went fast versus difficulty and i am trying to do this for like i don't know ease i guess i'm worried about my geo management because um i mean i guess you could just not buy charm notches or not buy a charm notch and take off spell twister um but yeah, let's go do crossroads. Normally, you would do glowing womb and then fight failed champion, but we're not fighting failed champion. Oh, dang. That makes sense, though. So I haven't seen you in a really long time. It's alright, real life happens.
this arena has a very simple way of being completed very quickly. Um, basically, you get a couple of nail hits, or you do nail hits on the first one, and then you fireball the second wave. So, three hits, fireball, one, two, three, fireball, one, two, three, fireball, hit, fireball, hit, fireball. And then we're going to save and quit from here. Yeah, you could... Um, I mean, I'm going to link the uh, percentages in the description in the video. That way you can look at what you want to do. Alright, so I have wings... Uh, we fought Broken Vessel, we fought, uh, hold on, what charms do we have? Hold on. I haven't been checking this. Um, Steady Body, did I mark Steady Body? We have Glowing Womb, um, Quick Focus, Deep Focus, um, no. Shape of Oon, Weaver Song. Um, where, where's the ones that I have? Hold on. Dream Shield. Where's Defender's Crest? I kind of wish this was on the screen right now so that you guys could see what I'm dealing with. Glowing Moon, Defender's Crest. Where's Steady Body? Okay, I got Steady Body. I think that's all the ones. Yeah, okay, so we're not getting nail upgrades until much later because it makes the bosses have more HP and they will melt. And I mean melt to spells. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do all of the quick kills in this. Wait, did I bench? I want to bench. I don't remember if I benched. So I'm going to make sure I benched. But we want that bench right there. Twenty hours is a lot of time, though. Like, this is gonna be really easy. If you want, you can wait and get Fury here and just go straight through Dirt Mouth. It really doesn't matter. Um, I mean, the reason that we get Fury early is because Fury is the best DPS before we get spells. So, in like in the speedrun, so it's like a habit to me to get Fury, but it's definitely not a requirement. You can easily just get it here instead. So it's time for Howling Cliffs. Um, we do have to fight Gorb because Gorb is a percentage, like all the dream bosses. We want to get full soul before doing that. So that's good for now. We're going to go get our Cyclone Slash. Eh, Dostaku Ganto. Alright, that's one nail art. Oh, right, there's a cutscene there. <laughs> you got a shiny Marie? Wait, in uh, Pokemon Go? Nice, congrats. Obama. Obama, Finello. Shiny Mareep is Pog. That's a cute one. Alright, so we have full soul. Um, what we're gonna do is nail hit and then fireball, fireball as many times as you can. Just spam quick cast. So, nail hit, fireball, 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 and he should die. It's so easy. It's so easy. I need you guys to understand that not getting nail upgrades is the way. The truth and the light. Okay, so there's a skip here. Basically, you want to go as high up as you can. Get him to go as high up as you can. And then pogo, and then do it again, and then pogo. Um, that skip is very, very easy. If you're not comfortable with it, I do plan to open all of the stags so you can get to the stag nest that way. 
But I'm like 90% sure that's a developer intended skip because it's so easy. He does exactly what you want him to do. I just need to remember to open all of the stags. I'm trying to think, like, I, I don't think we normally open the Queen Station stag. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna go do Joni's. Uh, I did get the lantern earlier, so we don't have to do the dark room. Normally in a 112% speedrun, this would be a dark room. So I will be doing the dark room method to get through it. You can get through it however you feel comfortable. Hello? I'm gonna take a hit here. That's how I would normally get through that in a speedrun for the most part. I'm nail shaming because it's bad, okay? Alright, so Joni's is a percentage. Got that done. I think we're gonna do Baldur here. Um, the reason we do Baldur later in the run in 112% is because we need to banish Grim anyway, so it's a fast way to get back up to cliffs. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wake him up right now. We're not gonna do any of the boss fights, we're not gonna collect any of the Grimkin, uh, but we do need the baby. No, I'm not doing rando today, Muds. I'm doing, um, a tutorial for getting 100% for the achievement. Was that your first time seeing Delcaddy? I love Delcaddy. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm about to die. <gasps> Fucking! <laughs> I didn't even realize I had no HP. Holy heck. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Holy shit, I need to edit that out. <laughs> yeah, I just put the thing- I, I'm playing on r the rando version so that I can show the tracker. Oh my god, I'm getting bodied. No, we need to go back that way anyway. Saw so what, lol. <laughs> Good man. Hello? Jump input. Any jump input or... How did I die? I dashed right into an enemy. I was taking like way more hits than I was supposed to and playing really bad. See you guys, this is why I'm not doing speedruns lately because I'm playing like trash. Yeah, I died to a fucking tick tick. Imagine that. Do I need to take damage in those spikes? Yes, it's RNG minute. And if you don't take damage in those spikes, you're gonna have to take damage somewhere else. Obviously. Where the fuck did I die? Alright, I was on my way to get this king's idol. Now I need to go find my shade. <laughs> Where did I die? I don't hear the music. I hear the music. Alright, anyways. Hey, Cody. Dirtmouth is called Elderbug is a cool dude because Elderbug is a cool dude. Alright, so we get that grub. Wait, I can dream nail him. They die to two Shade Souls with Shaman Stone. Alright, so Baldur Shell. Where's Baldur Shell? 
Joni's Balder Shell. I think I marked Gorb. Okay. Oh, nothing, Cody. Just trying to make a semi-decent tutorial for this thing. Yeah, I have a checklist in front of me uh, showing what I need to skip and what I need to get. So right here, we are being more like the 106% run. This guy dies to one V-Dart. So you can just stand on top of him and smush his shit in. Yeah, emphasis on semi. Oh, wait, this is a good idea. So you can get this Wonders Journal before fighting Hornet, maybe. If you are... Uh, You know, whatever. Low on Geo. Anyways, we're gonna go bench right here and go get Shape of Un. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Like the Any% percent tutorial. Somebody asked me yesterday if I would do 100%. And I don't really have like a solid route in my head. I'm just kind of like going through both the 106 and 112% routes. Trying to remember like... I don't know what would be most optimal. Yeah, basically. Six people got fired or quit already? Yikes. That sounds, uh, terrible. <laughs> Yeah, 20 hours is, like, basically infinite time. Like, you could probably just bullshit your way through it. That's why I wasn't gonna make a tutorial for this, because it seems... It seems pretty easy, but I guess some people would be kind of intimidated by it. It should be under 10. I agree. I don't remember who said that earlier, but yeah. 10 seems like a much more difficult challenge than what we're already dealing with with 20. All right, so normally at this point in an actual speed run, we would have dream gate. So there's gonna be a lot of walking back and forth in this section, but there's really no better way to do it if you don't have dream gate. But dream gate would mean that we would have to fight dream bosses and uh, dream bosses are gonna be a nope if we're trying to do an easy level 100% speedrun achievement guide. You want to stop that C dash before that enemy because Team Cherry hates speedrunners and made it to where you can't just C dash into the room anymore. You used to be able to. It's really dumb. It's, it was one of the dumbest changes that they made. Alright, so we have wings right now. Which means that you can do this skip to get over here. Uh, you can also choose to go around whatever you feel comfortable with. But if you have wings, that's free, so... Team Cherry hates speedrunners, it's true. The irony. Speedrunning is, like, one of the best ways to show off your game. Alright, so I got that. I marked Shape of Un already. Alright, good. By the way, do you say Shape of Un or Shape of Un? Oh, they just hate me that. specifically. <laughs> I'm not even like one of the big speedrunners though. I'm not even a Twitch partner, hello. Wait, why did I stop it? I thought I was a lot closer to the block than I was. You say Un. Yeah, I don't know why. Un just makes more sense. You're a shape of Un, gal. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the seal. Again, trying to get all of the money items that I can, because I'm not sure what money items I actually want to get. So we have Great Slash. We're going to get Thorns. This guy dies to a Cyclone Slash. Yeah. Or three hits. All 
All right, where's thorns? Need to mark thorns. Got it. <laughs> I'm not judging, fam. You do you. No! I wanted to do a swaggy C dash and it's not letting me help. There we go. <laughs> oh, is Moss Charger a percentage? Hold on. Moss Charger is not a percentage. Fun fact. Isn't that fact fun? All right, I don't think I saved these grubs up here, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Hunter's Journal is not a percentage, so we don't need to deal with that. Yeah, you have to do it to do the Pantheons, but we're only doing 100%, which means that we can skip the God Home content. So yeah, you can get that grub way earlier, or you can choose out. <laughs> you can choose to get it right now. I thought I still had a dash, and I didn't. <laughs> Hunter's Journal isn't a percentage. It's not. So this is the casual way to get this, but since we have other movement abilities, we don't technically have to go this way, but it's fine. Whatever. Did so much stuff uselessly. I feel that. They don't tell you. So we don't have Dreamgate. Um, I think we might go open the Queen Station stag. Um... So I benched at that bench, right? Okay. I wanted to. If I didn't, yell at me. But we're gonna go fight No Eyes. No Eyes dies to five Shade Souls. So we have um, on us Spell Twister and Shaman Stone. That does require Shaman Stone, by the way. Um, we want to hit her from a certain distance and pray that she doesn't teleport out of doubles. Fuck. Alright, one more hit and she's dead. So again, that's another fight that is significantly easier, just so long as you don't get nail upgrades. We're gonna be waiting to get all of our nail upgrades until much later. And we need the mask shard from here. We might kill Moss Charger just for the Geo. Because Moss Charger is really easy. Let me mark no eyes. Um, I think that's our first Mask Shard, right? Okay. So we're going to quit back to our bench now. Except for the Weathered Mask. Yeah. <laughs> I won't even do the Weathered Mask. Heck that, dude. Literally never. You can't pay me to do that. Alright, we'll fight Moss Charger for Geo. Why not? This one dies to like one Shade Soul double. <laughs> it has like no health at all. I don't have soul right now. Alright, so I did that for the Geo not required at all uh there's a geo chest in here but it's only 80 geo which is basically nothing so it's not really worth stopping for so we're gonna skip that yeah that's a c dash you can do by the way so anyways save that grubby we're gonna save all the grubbies don't worry no grub left behind Right? And I think that's our first vessel complete, so that's one. That's one percentage right there.
Yeah, that's probably the hardest part. I remember whenever PG did it, he waited until like he did everything on Radiant before actually doing the P5 ending. Because Abzerat is a con. Alright, wait, hold on, let me get this. Again, getting all of the money items I can. There's a wondrous journal right here. <laughs> there is also a seal up here that we can get. The thing between the arcane egg and the lantern. Uh, that is grim flames, which we're not going to be getting any of. So I have a pretty cool strat for the Howling Race Arena that will make it super, super easy. Wait for these guys to all spawn. Fireball. And then when all these guys spawn, wait for a second and then dive. But he was an asshole and didn't do what he was supposed to do. So it kind of ruined it. <laughs> Anyways, we have raids now. Um... All right, what are we missing? What did I get just now? Saved a grub, we got a thing, got a mask shard. From this platform right here, you can sea dash completely out of the room without hitting anything. That's really convenient. Again, sea dashing is significantly faster than regular dashing. So if you can ever sea dash for a long distance, try to do so. Like right here, there's one you can do as well. You can see dash underneath the spikes. Those are good to, to go for. If you knock those guys into the acid, they despawn and don't explode on you. So we're gonna go down to Queen Station right now. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Gonna grab this hollowness seal, because again, grabbing all of the geo that I can. We probably don't need even close to this much, but you know. And let's grab this mask shard. Now that we have all of our movement abilities, I'm considering doing fungal 2 right now. Should I do that? Mm. Well, no, because Mantis Lords will die a lot faster to Abyss Shriek, so... Alright. Wait, I didn't open Resting Grounds? Hello? Really? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm such an idiot. I really didn't. All right, well, whenever you get Dream Shield, open resting grounds. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that sucks. And it's infected now. Oh my god. Okay, oh well, this is good. You know what? This is fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine. Because this means that we can go back and get that Mask Shard. Well, we don't need to shade skip because we have claw and crystal dash, which is like a much easier method. Fuck it. Forget what I was going to do. We're just going to do other things instead. We're going to do other things instead. We're going to save this grub here. Can kill these guys. Literally unwatchable. Wow. 
I'm sorry to disappoint you guys like this. Ow. We're gonna go do Moloch and get this mask shard. And we're gonna get a full mask as we enter uh, the other part of Crossroads. Moloch dies very, very easily to dive. So we're gonna do like pogos and dives to be able to beat it quickly. Easy. Alright, so Moloch. Gru's mom. Oh, Gru's mom's a percentage that I didn't do yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, we'll open it in a second. We're gonna make our way over there right now. Again, this is a routeless challenge, okay? The point of my any percent one was to show that you can do it basically by bullshitting it and not really doing a route at all. So, uh, I guess this is kind of the same premise. <laughs> Dick around and you can still get it. Easy. Alright, so that's our first mask shard. It's our first HP upgrade. Which will also heal our health. These guys die to one fireball, by the way. So don't be scared to just fucking fireball their face if they're right on you. Also, you can get soul from these gomes to make your life easier. By the way, the enemy I just killed, the name is Jennifer. Don't insult Jennifer. Alright, well, we can seed ash to Blue Lake from here. Hello? I was trying to stop my crystal dash and it didn't stop. Naps with cat. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, you can you can do whatever else you want, but don't insult her. Nice to meet you. I love cats, by the way. Oh, actually, this was a really good play because we can fight Zero now. Yes, let's go. See? Completely planned. Again, fireballs destroy every single boss. And a bishery. <laughs> Heck War 3. <laughs> Once we finish all of the dream warriors, which are those grave guys, um, we can very comfortably get nail upgrades. It's just they die so fast to spells if you actually, you know, don't upgrade your nail. But yeah, you can probably skip that whole blue leak sequence and just like save and quit back to resting grounds or something if you aren't an idiot like me. And remember to open that sag whenever you come here the first time. Fireball. Nail hit. Very easy to kill that guy. Also, that guy dies to a whole howling race, so you can do that. Geo. Geo is delicious. Fireball. Nail hit. Go ahead and get this Geo item. Yeah, you don't? Hello? Alright, did I mark off zero? I did. And then Soul Eater. Okay. Early Flower Quest. <laughs> flower Quest is the sole reason that we're skipping every Mask Shard, by the way. Or we're skipping an entire Mask of Mask Shards. All 
right, I'm going down in City of Tears now. <sighs> Finally doing the right side. Feels good, man. Yeah, they sound like me whenever I'm sick. Alright, remember, every enemy completely gets destroyed by Shade Soul. That is not an exaggeration. Every enemy is obliterated by Shade Soul. That makes all of those arenas like 50 billion times easier. If you're the kind of person that likes to only use your nail, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have a bad time. Nerf Shade Soul, can you don't? Ow. Can we not, please? I like Shade Soul. <laughs> Feel free to bench here. Not really a huge deal. There's a thing you can do up here. There's a hollow nest seal. I will be getting it. It's pretty easy to get up there if you have both wings and claw. Um, it's a little harder if you're only using wings. But it is possible, as you can see. And it's possible also with only claw. As you can see there. That is both of the methods. Hope that's helpful. We're gonna go do Kingdom's Edge first, but before we do that we're gonna go kill Gorgeous Husk so that we have enough uh, soul for Dash Slash. Oh wait, hold on. I should follow the, uh, the 106 and 112 routes for this. We are gonna go deal with Hornet first for the King's Brand. King's Brand by the way is 2%. Don't worry, we'll come back for that grub later. There's also a Wonders Journal right here, if you want to get it. Get him now? I'll get him later. Okay, so see right here how they have these emblems? The one beneath the boards go one down, and then right where that ridge is... You can crystal dash right there and go straight into that, but I was a little bit too low, so... But yeah, you can go straight into that from there. Again, crystal dashes are super fast. Feel free to bench here if you're not confident in your Hornet fight, as always. Again, you want to try to hit her from a distance for double hits with Shade Soul. Like that was a double. And if she does that attack, D Dark. But try to hit her centered. Again, D Dark does 80 damage. 88 damage to be exact. spells. So many spells. People are always so amazed at how fast speedrunners can kill bosses, but like, 
Spells! It's not magic. Use spells. All the spells. Okay, Hornet 2 and King's Brand. So we just got 3% there. <laughs> it, it's not magic. <laughs> Literally is magic. <laughs> you know what I mean, okay? Yeah, Muds. It was RNG manipulation, obviously. It wasn't actually RNG manipulation. It was me just pressing Shade Soul while trying to demonstrate something and being distracted. I'm really bad at teaching while playing. I'm really bad at talking while playing. It's amazing that I ever got a PB on stream, actually. <laughs> All right, so our next step is to go to the Abyss. Um, we are gonna get Shade Cloak and Abyss Shriek. Abyss Shriek is a busted move. It does 120 damage per hit with Shaman Stone, and it has, or it has, it does 120 damage if all of the four parts of it hit. Um, so 30 per hit with Shaman Stone. Either way, it's really good. Oh wait, hold on. Make sure that you bench here too. Really important. Because the Hornet cutscene is a hard save. I'm gonna get the grub later. Get the grub after collector. Get the grub, grub after collector. Calm down. Alright, I'm gonna be doing some sketchy shit here. But you can go down in whatever way you see fit. So basically, a little bit away, like right there, you can dive. And then, see where that, that black vine right there is? Line up with that, and then dive. Really easy way to get down very quickly. Alright, and there's our abyss shriek. We've almost got all of our skills. Almost. 200 IQ. <laughs> yeah, almost all skills percent. It's only about like 15 minutes behind my PB, no big deal. Or no, actually it's like 30 minutes. No, I have a 58, don't I? I think I have a 58 in all skills. I don't remember. I have a PB. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, I was so hurt. There was one time I was watching a casual player. Because um, sometimes I like to watch casual players just because it's exciting to see people playing the game for the first time because Hollow Knight is amazing. And get this. He was fighting Absolute Radiance. But he had Howling Wraiths. Or not Absolute Radiance. He was fighting the Vanilla Radiance. So he had Void Heart, and he had Shade Cloak, because he could go through her beams, but he had Wraiths. So it blows my mind how many people don't realize <laughs> what to do in that room. Okay, so the reason I paused it here is because I'm going to do something called a sibling climb. You can choose to climb other ways if you want to, but they make it really easy to get up if you're very good at pogoing. It also makes it a little bit easier to not get hit by them if you're pogoing them, because it pushes them down. Wow, he was in a really bad spot. <laughs> yeah, it just- PG almost missed it too. I was like, what does that look like to you? And he's like, I don't know. So anyways, right at this button right here, you can dive down super fast way to get down. You hear PP. <laughs> 12 year old boy in me is laughing. 
All right, so we got Shade Cloak. All we need are two nail arts and we have all of the skills now. Bruh. I've gotten like three phone calls. Okay, grab this arcane egg. Um, getting Shade Cloak, by the way, is a hard save, so we will have to climb out of the abyss the intended way, like filthy casuals. <laughs> Pure vessel is better than all of the other vessels pass it on. Whoops. I haven't had to go out this way in a really long time. I haven't had to do this climb. That wasn't the Void Heart climb since and like I ran all skills, I think, was the last time. I'm not going to do anything sketchy. I'm going to go through a very simple way to get out of here. What? <laughs> Why didn't you pogo? You stupid bug. Starting to see why you were a reject. Oh, hey, Hornet. Bye, Hornet. <laughs> Alright, so what do we do now? I guess we'll go do cleanup in, um... in Basin. Alright, so all of our charms are normal. All of our charms are good. We're aiming to get 700 Essence, by the way, so I'm only going to be getting Essence from the uh, Dream Warriors. Go ahead and sell everything that we have to Lim. PV is best tech. Again, remember no nail upgrades. Nail upgrades are banned. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. Holy heck. Cheo, Rizokin. There's a lot of relics in this game. Did you guys know? Bellamy Archer. Bellamy Archer. Bellamy Archer. Bellamy Archer. Warrus Sun. Bellamy Archer. Warrus Sun. Bellamy Archer. Bellamy Archer. Kachail. Bellamy Archer. Kachail. Please. Yeah. <laughs> like half of the time that we spend doing this is on Lim. Warrus Sun. Yeah. War Sun? Chia. I don't know the lore. I'm a speedrunner, remember? Mossbag said we're not supposed to know the lore. I'm gonna butt out like he wants me to. Alright, we have a metric shit ton of Gia right now. Helmadelkin. How many grubs do I have right now? I can't read that. It's really tiny. Tell me Archer intensifies. <laughs> Extra Tell me Archer. Alright, so we're gonna do like a 106% style route right now. Um, I opened that because of rando habits. So we're gonna go down to Fluke. We're not doing any God Home content at all. It's very important that you still have uh, Shaman, Stole, Shaman Stone and Shade Soul. I mean, Shaman Stole and Spell Twister on 
right now. Because that is the secret to killing this boss very easily. So bear with me. We're gonna do counting with Imray again. So nail one, two, three, four. Bam. So we did fluke. Fluke Marb is actually not a percentage, but the charm is. So let me see. Um, where's Fluke? Got it. All right, we're gonna save back to our bench now. <laughs> oh, all right, rating. I'll see you later. I'm sorry if I was late. I was probably late. How have you been, by the way, MRT? I haven't seen you in a while. What in the fuck? <laughs> what is no? Did <laughs> did you break my bot? <laughs> busy thing. Everybody's been busy lately. All right, we're gonna kill these little shits because they kind of get in the way. I've been okay. I was sick for a little while, but I've gotten a lot better lately. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Why do I always get hungry at this time? Alright, again with the beautiful shade soul. Shade Soul is a gift to bug kind. Yeah, we I think we figured out what was wrong and why why I was sick. Alright, so that's Dash Master. Let's mark that one off. There's a skip you can do here, but he didn't do it. There we go. You can pogo him. It doesn't matter how you choose to get up here. <laughs> not gonna make a huge difference. We just need to save Bretta. I thought about skipping Bretta instead of Fungal Core, but I figured this is probably faster. This is a faster Mask Shard. Also, we get to ship her and Zoot, so... Is getting hungry part of the run? No, it is. It is. But that's why you don't have to do it all in one sitting. Really convenient, you know? Ah! Hold on. We need to fight Elder Who, so I think I might go up. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. But we can bench there. It's okay to bench there. Don't be ashamed to bench. But now we're gonna fight Mantis Lords. So here's the cool thing about Mantis Lords, and the reason that we got Abyss Shriek first. Mantis Lords dies to two Abyss Shrieks, so once they're on the wall... You can just shriek them to death. It's really fast and it's really cool. So try to fill up soul before entering the fight. Let's go. I love this fight. Sisters of Battle is actually one of my favorite. Yeah, always use Shaman Stone. I said that though. One of the hits missed. If they do that, you can dive. Easy. Yeah, Sisters of Battle and Pure Vessel are my favorite fights. Alright, Mantis Lords is a percentage, and they also have a ton of Geo. And another percentage locked behind the fight. So they're basically like 2%. Alright, so let's mark this. Uh, Mantis Lords and... Um, Marker Pride. Got it. Okay. 
get all of the geo in the world because we have infinite time. Uh, I don't think he does, no. I don't think Hollow Knight does. Whoops. By the way, charm notches aren't a percentage. Um, because I'm playing on the, the modding API version, it's gonna give me Salubra's notches automatically, which I really wish I could turn off, but I can't. Um, so you can choose to buy more notches. The only charm notches that are really important are um, the five that we use for Twister and Shaman Stone. Having an extra one for, for uh, Dream Wilder later is gonna be useful, but it's not necessary. No, I haven't, and I want it. If someone would buy me that, I would love you eternally. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go fight Elder Who now, which is also a percentage. If Silk Song is a good speed game, yeah, we'll see. It depends, because we don't know what the game is gonna be like to play it yet. All right, so cool thing about Elder Who, he always spawns like right here-ish, right here in this area. So you line up right here and you want to do like three shrieks. So I need a little bit more soul. You don't have to do it the way that I did it, <laughs> but yeah. And he should die instantly to three abyss shrieks. Unless he's a dick about it. He was a dick about it. Fuck off, Elder Who. Yikes. $50. That's crazy. Yeah, that ain't worth it. All right, we're going back to our friend Leg Eater. Well, they are coming, are they coming from Australia? Because if they're coming from Australia, that kind of makes sense. I think we're gonna fight uh, Monomon next, or kill Monomon next. Show Dung Defender discount. <laughs> we don't need it. We're also not going to use these charms. We just need them for the completion. So that's 3% right there. There's also a grub that we're missing. So I'm going to go grab that grub and then make our way down. Oh. Really? It, like, pushed me down. That was weird. Yeah, I know, right? It would make the speed run so much more annoying. Like, we already deal with enough bullshit in 112%. Can we don't? Team Cherry is nice. Also, you can lose them forever. Anything that you can lose forever is not a percentage. For instance, Zote, Vengefly King... That's why those things aren't percentages, because you can accidentally miss it. So go back up, grab that grub. Um, there is a seal down here. You can knock these guys into the spikes and they won't explode on you. You can grab this if you want to. Also, there's a charm notch here that you can grab if you want to choose to get the um, use Dream Wilder. I really like uh, Dream Wilder, so I'm going to show off getting this charm. Again, knock these guys into acid, and they can't explode on you. Shade dash through this guy, D-Dark here. There we go. Yeah, he gives you your charms back. It's just still, like, shitty. <clears throat> but yeah, you can lose the... Zo can die, basically. If you enter certain rooms before actually saving him while Vengefly King is eating him, you'll lose the opportunity to kill Vengefly King and you'll lose the opportunity to save Zo. 
Yeah, Divine disappears if you banish. She stays if you don't banish. Don't forget the scrub, by the way. It's a very easy grub to forget. But yeah, you can lose the ability to get the unbreakable ones if you banish first, so be careful about that if you're trying to get those and you don't want to fight in KG or whatever. By the way, get full soul here. I'm going to show you guys how to do the quick kill setup. Everything that I do in this fight is important. For the first one, you just get anywhere on the wall. It doesn't matter. Um, then we start manipulating him to go a little bit higher. Just stick around until the end of the electric attack. Now we're going to try to stay in the air. Try to keep him, like, in the ceiling-ish, if you can. And he should die to three to four streaks. So Umu is a percentage. We're also about to get our first streamer. So Monomon. That quick kill seems like it's hard, but I promise it isn't. Like, again, fast and easy tend to go hand in hand. This cutscene might also get skipped because of, uh... Because of, uh, the rando thing. I'm worried that it will. If it does, I'm sorry. It doesn't look like it will, though. I think we're good. Yeah, I do still have to kill Monomon. -mon. in the bathroom. Heckin' Quirrell, he's always late, man. Always late. So, we're not getting the King Soul, by the way, but Traitor Lord is a percentage, so we will need to go do that. I'm sorry, guys, we still have to fight Traitor Lord. We're gonna go to Queen's Garden now. Um, I already got the Mask Shard at the station, so we don't need to worry about that. Notice I am collecting soul. Trader Lord is really easy. Yeah, I'm gonna show the fast and easy way to do Trader Lord. Trader Lord boss fight. I think it's pretty fun. Alright, so you can crystal dash from this step, and then you stop before you hit this guy, and then this last step before the ground, crystal dash from that one. So, these guys, these mantises, they die to either... One nail hit and a shade soul or abyss shriek. So you can choose to do either one. Um, I like to abyss shriek this first one and then fireball the second ones and pray for double hits. If you don't get a double hit, just go get your last nail hit in, no big deal. Um, there's also a really easy C dash you can do here. You land on that platform to knock it down and then you just C dash straight across. It's super easy. Also, you can knock that guy into the spikes by just uppercutting him into it. Oh, right. Hold on. Uh, we're not going this way yet. Hold on. We want the bench first because we don't have Dream Gate. We're not getting Dreamgate. If 
by the way, if you do want to get Dreamgate, it's not a huge deal. Uh, you just have to fight Field Champ and Field Champ or Soul Tyrant and Lost Kin, and that'll give you enough. Uh, after getting zero in Gorb, that'll give you the 900 essence. It's just we're not going to be even getting close to that much essence, so that would be a personal choice if you wanted to do that. I, I don't want to make that a required part of this route because the goal is to make it like accessible and very easy minimal challenge run <laughs> yeah fill champions really easy um you can watch any speed run to learn the quick kill method for a fail champ uh, we use Shade Soul for the fight. If you fireball whenever his hammer is about to hit towards you, you will get triple hits. Alright, these guys die to one D-Dark. Just line it up to where you're going to land on top of where their dash is, and they're going to die immediately. Also, you can C-Dash out of here before that guy spawns, so just start C-Dashing immediately after you pick up the love key. I'm trying to make a new generation of speedrunners. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna save the scrub. By the way, that that um bench that I took earlier is not optional. You need to bench there because of the fact that we don't have Dream Gate. So save that grub, get spore shroom. How many grubs is that? I think it says 24. How many more grubs do I need? I'm worried I'm gonna miss grubs. <laughs> but I'm mostly following the speedrun route. I probably won't miss anything. There's a couple of things that I'm doing really out of order. So the grub is the third one in the room. Save him, save and quit. By the way, it's the frame that you break the glass is the frame where um, the grub is considered freed. So you can save and quit like super fast after hitting the glass. Just make sure that you actually hit the glass. <laughs> I've seen people lose runs to that before. All right, so Spore Shroom. Where is Spore Shroom? Quick focus and to do Spore Shroom. All right, easy enough. Let's continue. I'm gonna do all of Queen's Garden right now. If you can get these guys against walls, their uh, spikes can't come out and you can just farm him for soul. Which is pretty convenient. <laughs> Again, remember the D-Dark fight for the Mantises and Abyss Shriek for these guys. Makes that a lot easier and a lot fast. Hey, King Killer. No, this is, um, I'm using the rando mod, but, uh, not randomized. It is vanilla. I'm just doing a tutorial on how to do the 100% in under 20 hours achievement. Probably can do under five hours. All right, so we're gonna go up here. Uh, time for my favorite part of the game, frogs. Fucking frogs. Ow. Frogs are the worst, dude. Literally heck off. This room is the worst room in the game, help. They also die to one shade soul, by the way. So if you get really sick of their shit, you can just fireball them to death. I think they're spiders? They're frogs! Look at how they hop. <laughs> That's like a meme, by the way, that they're frogs. Please don't actually think that I think that they're frogs. I'm gonna grab a little soul so I don't die. Okay. 
There is a hollow and a seal over there, by the way, but I'm not gonna get it. I think that we're pretty good on Geo. Alright, so Marmu. Um, Marmu can be a really challenging fight, but the cool thing about Marmu is that we have Abyss Shriek and we don't have any nail upgrades. So she's gonna spawn like right here-ish. So we're gonna Dream Nail her from this side and then immediately Shriek her to death. She dies to three shrieks. Super easy fight. Getting nail upgrades is a bad idea because insert here. <laughs> insert Marmu fight here. Marmu is a pain in the dick if you get nail upgrades. Alright, we're gonna open this up. How many stags are we missing? We need to get the hidden station. Um. So I think we're not hidden station. Um, we need to get the distant village. I think that's it, right? So if you are going to be not doing that mosquito skip. Yeah, 100% in under 20 hours is an achievement. Nail upgrades um, cause enemies health especially the Dream Warriors, HP to scale significantly to the point where it's actually difficult to fight them. If you don't get nail upgrades and you have upgraded spells, you can do like a shit ton of damage to them and kill them very quickly like that. Yeah, I didn't know that either <laughs> whenever I first started playing the game. I was like, fuck yeah, you can upgrade your nail. I didn't realize that it would be bad to do that. All right, so there is one grub up here that we need to get. No, what? <laughs> Dude, I've already died once during this. It was so embarrassing. I died to a fucking tick tick in cliffs. <laughs> oh, by the way, to do what I just did, you see there's one spot right where I am where there's like two little things close to each other. That's my visual cue for where to jump off of the wall there. What? It puts you all the way back down? I didn't know that. You wish you knew. I know, it would make life so much easier, right? Wow, these guys are all right here. Unbelievable. Alright, I'm gonna try to stay at full health. Just because I'm a baby. I'm also gonna show you guys a really easy way to do the Traitor Lord fight. Um, D-Dive is your best friend in this fight, but there's a cool thing where when he's in the ceiling, before he's about to spawn, um, you can actually Abyss Shriek him a couple of times and just knock off a ton of his health all at once. So we're gonna try to keep a little bit of soul from fighting these guys. I'm gonna try to grind for soul at the same time as doing... Alright, and just go over him, Pogo D Dark. Over him, Pogo D Dark. Get nail hits in where you can, Pogo D Dark. And if he does that move, you can shriek him. Really easy fight. D Dark is your best friend in this game, true. All right, we don't need to go talk to White Lady. Go ahead and save and quit right there. We're not getting the King Soul. All right, what now? I, I feel like I haven't been keeping track of all of the uh, charms that I have, but maybe I am. We, we've got a pretty decent percentage right now. Ow. Nice pogo. See, it's probably a good idea to keep this bench down here. Um, wow, you're an asshole. I shouldn't have even fucked with you. 
Kingsoul is a percentage, but it's a really long percentage, and it's a really challenging percentage, and I'm trying to keep the difficulty level relatively low. Gonna get soul. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. You guys can probably hear my stomach growling. So, time for Deep Nest. I know this is probably one of the most intimidating areas in the game. It's really not that bad. Ow. It's really not that bad. Face plants into spikes. <laughs> it's not that bad, I am. <laughs> Normally in a speedrun we put a Dream Gate here, but we're not getting Dream Gate. Dreamgate is not a percentage, and it would require a lot of essence to get, which would mean boss fights. And again, trying to avoid extra boss fights or things that we don't really need. So we're gonna get Hera now. Um, there's nothing else in here. We're gonna go open the station though. Because I think that's the last station. There's a shortcut here, by the way. I don't know if you knew about this, but this means that you can skip Beast in. You don't have to do Trap Bench. You don't have to go through the whole thing. You can see it from right here. Dash, wings, and you'll go right in the hole. I feel like a lot of people know that, but I know there are some people that probably still don't. Also, these Devouts. They die to two D-Darks. Very easy. Alright, and that's our Hera. All of the dreamers are hard saves, by the way, which is why you'll see me, like, leave physically. Instead of, like, save quitting out or something. We do still need to go through Crystal Peaks again to get the Paylor and the rest of the grubs because there's still two grubs that I haven't gotten yet, as well as Deep Focus. Is there anything else? No. Deep Focus, um, we're skipping the Mask Shard behind the Guardians just because that's one of those that would be faster um, to get that particular Mask Shard, but... It is locked behind a difficult fight that some people might struggle with, so I took that into account and decided to skip that Mask Shard. Because I think the platforming is one of the easier things that people probably wouldn't struggle with, but the fights themselves might be something that people would struggle with. Um, so anyways, I think this is our last stag. So this should give us access to the stag nest, I think, if I counted correctly. Yeah, we only need 100%, so I'm skipping um, everything involving the- yeah, so see, you have the stag nest, so if you couldn't do that skip or didn't want to do that skip earlier, uh, go ahead and grab that vessel fragment right now, but I am 90% sure that I already got it. If I didn't, then I guess I'm going to be punished for that later. <laughs> yeah, so I'm skipping... Um... Hold on, let me let me go through Deep Nest first, then I'll go over what I'm skipping again. Just go ahead and leave this area. We're going to go back to the right side of Deep Nest and grab Weaver Song. Again, uh, Devouts die to two D-Darks. So make sure that you have enough soul on your way over here to get two D-Darks. Actually, I messed up. Hold on. We want to go over the top part because we have a grub to get. Don't forget the scrubby. How many grubs is that, by the way? 30? Two D-Darks. Easy. Um, you can go around or you can learn to do the skip right here. Um, wings, dash, dash, wings. Very easy. 30? Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, so got Weaver Song, got Hera. 
next we're gonna fight Dalian. Uh, we do have to do the hive because the hive has three whole percents in it, as well as a grub. I was thinking about skipping hive whenever I was originally doing the route, and I realized that since there is a grub there, it would be kind of annoying. to try to make up another percent just because I didn't want to kill Hive Knight. Alright, so Galeon is another one of those very easy dream warriors as long as you don't have nail upgrades. He's going to spawn like right here, like right above this area. So what we're going to do is wait for him to actually show up stick around for a little bit and once he does you can just shriek him to death all right how much essence is this 850 all right we have enough uh we won't be taking Markoth's essence because we don't need it dream gate isn't a percentage I'm gonna go up here, grab Tram Pass. I'm not saving Zote, by the way. Fuck that King's Idol, I don't even need it. And before I need it. <laughs> I could just get the lifeblood core um arcane egg and say fucks so. out. Bye, Zoot. I'm not saving you. You can heck off. Bye. Alright, Grubby. There, you can go down these spikes, by the way. Just be careful in Pogo to make sure that you don't miss it. Next up is Nosk. You can bench. Actually, you know what? It's ideal to bench here. So let's go bench. Save Zote? No. I don't have to. Also, we have to do Kalo 1, so it would be a waste of time. Heck, Zote. Zote isn't worth my time. I don't think I'm missing any grubs in deep mess. Oh, <laughs> talking to the people watching the guide. Don't listen to her, she's delirious. <laughs> Strelly doesn't know what they're talking about. Saving Zote is an instant rip, okay? Do you want to lose your run this far in? If you do save so whatever, it's fine. I'm not actually mad. But you can use the Shade Soul method and the D-Dark method. So it gives you good RNG. If you do save so you do have to waste time fighting him in Kalo 1 though, which is a time loss and the main reason that I don't do it. Okay, so before I get started on this fight, um, if it's running away from you, like if you're over in the left area or the right area and Nos starts moving towards the middle of the arena, shade soul towards it and try to get a double hit in like that. Um, if Nos gets directly below you, try to use descending dark or des yeah, descending dark. If Nos does go on the ceiling, that is the best RNG. You can just hit it with your nail and shriek it and it'll die like super fast. What are you doing? Hello? <laughs> also, you can Shriek him from underneath here, which is really convenient. Remember, Shriek is your highest DPS move. So 
so Shriek is your best bet. Highest DPS move. Uh, Nosk himself is a percentage, or Nosk herself is a percentage, uh, but we do also need this Pale Ore. And now we can save and quit. Back to our lovely bench. So we only have um, Watcher Knight, Hive Knight, Kala 1 and 2, and Markoth left as bosses that are percentages. Um, how many HP upgrades do we have right now? Okay, so we still need three more masks and two more vessels to complete the next one. Alright, we're gonna go grab Sharp Shadow. Ow. <laughs> Why am I like this? Help! Don't follow my lead. I'm not a good teacher. Alright, so Sharp Shadow. Um, and there's also a Vessel Fragment that we need to get here. Because we will be getting all of the Vessel Fragments. We're just not getting all of the Mask Shards. By the way, you can also pogo these at the bottom. So if you're in a bad situation while doing this platforming, you can always just, you know, do the thing. And make your life a lot easier. <laughs> There's no good place to see dash. Heck off, Tim Cherry. <laughs> Why would you do that? Alright, so anyways, we're going to the tram now. It's okay if you take a lot of damage because the tram, um... has a bench, obviously. And we need to bench here anyway, so... Press the glowy button. We're gonna go over here first. Uh, we have a grub to save and a pale ore to get. Again, Shade Soul is your best friend here. The Moloch things die to two Shade Souls. That's all we need, so we're gonna save and quit here. Back to our tram. It's almost time for the hive. Um, hive <laughs> can be really intimidating. Just like, I don't know. The best advice I can give is to play really safe. Um, This is one of the mask shards that I decided to keep in the route. So we will have to get that. Um, let's 
get rid of these guys. Fireball it open. See, not saving Zod is where the bad RNG is going to come in. <laughs> Alright, got a little bit of soul. We're just going to make our way through the hive. I'm not going to do too much commentary. You can use spells to break those walls, which kind of gets you out of bad situations faster. Um, I'm going to demonstrate that in a little bit with this next wall coming up. Um, there's a lot of bees blocking this particular wall. Try to climb the left side to avoid confrontation, and then fireball so that you can get out of this room as quickly as possible. Heal as needed. Make sure that you're out of a danger zone before you heal. Because, again, health is really tight right now. We haven't bought a lot of mask shards. We haven't gained a lot of mask shards. But we will be getting eight total. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I fell. Oh no, I fell! Alright, I'm resetting this room. Fuck this. <laughs> That's too much of a disaster for me. I completely missed. I can't talk and play this game at the same time. It's like my kryptonite. That's what you're supposed to do. Like that, okay? Here you want to grab that wall and then bounce onto these platforms. That'll keep you out of harm's way. I didn't see that be. Wow. Okay, so for this next room, you want to fireball this guy immediately. Make sure that that bee right there is dead. You need him dead. It's very important that he's dead. And grab this wall until your eye is completely covered by the honey bump thing. And that's an easy way to get into this area. Thank you for the follow, King Killer. I didn't know you were you weren't following yet. You've been here a couple of times. I forget to follow people too, it's cool. Um, so ow. I wasn't expecting her to be there. This guy right here. Come here. What was that RNG? Holy heck, dude, that's so lucky. Jam boy, thank you for the follow. Holy heck, that was so lucky. Alright, now we just need to get the hell out of here. And get to Hive Knight. Again, having soul there is very, very lucky. Because you can just fireball and get yourself out of a bad situation. So, Hive Knight. The trick to Hive Knight is basically the same thing as Traitor Lord. Pogo D-Dark, Pogo D-Dark, Pogo D-Dark. Um, if he does the attack where he like lets all the bees out of his mouth, you can stand next to him and abyshriek him. Just try to go over him a lot. And D-Dark whenever you can. So the timing that I use for that, um, if he does the oh god, I'm gonna hit when it, I'm gonna get hit when he comes out of this. If he does the attack where he's gonna charge up those spike balls or whatever, do one, two, three, and then D dark, and you will almost never get hit by a spike ball. It's like perfect spacing. During the bee attack, try to um, dive as often as you can to keep yourself safe. Hive Knight is also a boss that scales with your nail, by the way. So he's another reason that I choose not to upgrade my nail. I think he upgrades with nail 3 and 4, though. I'm not sure if he's one of the bosses that gets upgraded like with all of them. But he does scale, so it's another boss that would be much better. Best case in life. What? <laughs> Thank you for the one, two, three, four <laughs> donation to Pastry. I appreciate it. So yeah, that's Hive Knight and Hive Blood. We're done with that garbage. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it, but I don't know what that means. There's two more grubs in this area that we need to get. I hate the Pantheon of Hollowness. Same TBH. What? Can you please cooperate? Help. Go 
go ahead and climb up here. You either. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Alright, I'm gonna grab the scrub up here, and then there's one more in the hive, technically. Technically, it's in the hive. I did get the one behind Yzma's, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I don't think I would forget that one. Yeah, I got it after I got Yzma's here. Except for 8 Radiance. Ouch. Yeah, she's like the wall for a lot of people. Can you guys heck off kindly, please? What I did there was kind of like a manipulation to get them to go towards the top, go towards the ceiling, and then I could just like dash underneath them whenever I went to leave. Just a clever little thing. That's what I do in runs. It's probably not very fast, but it is really easy. Oh, fuck off. Alright, normally in a speedrun we put Dream Gate right here, but, um, I mean, we're gonna come back around anyway, so Dream Gate isn't really important. Ow. I thought I had a Shade Cloak and I didn't. <laughs> Punished. Alright, so Dash Slash, this is our last nail art, so we should be able to get Nail Master Glory from Sly. Guess so. Guess so. Yeah, you do. It's not a requirement, but getting the, the completion feels good. Alright, what do I do? Uh, hold on, I'm like trying to find Oro. Obama, Finello, got a bow. Go ahead and bench here. It's important to bench here because we will be coming back this way. Um, we're about to fight Markoth. We're almost on that part. We're basically cleaning up Kingdom's Edge right now. Heck off. All right, there's a grub right here. You can just like bully these guys until you can shade dash through them. <laughs> I love it over the great hoppers hop backwards. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Ow, dick. I hate this room. This room is the worst room in the entire game. Like, period. Primal Aspects are the worst enemy in the game. Like, period. Alright, so we got Quick Slash. Um... No, that's the worst room in the game, period. Frogs are, like, a very close second. <laughs> Alright, so for the Markoth fight, he can give you bad RNG, but we're basically in an abyssery come to death, just like we've done so far with every other dream boss. Our dream warrior. Um, so, Markoth, when he spawns, as he spawns, spawns, like, right here-ish, near that. What you want to do is abyss shriek him into that platform, and if you do, he's basically stuck in that. So you can just abyss shriek him to death. Um, if he does move, and it can happen, um, just try to shade soul him from a distance and get doubles. He should die to three abyss shrieks, and that's it. That's all the dream warriors. We don't really need his essence, but I guess we can get it. <laughs> Well, Absarad is really hard, to be fair. Absarad's pretty, uh... Pretty fast. Alright, 
right, we're gonna save the scrub. Um, normally at this point in the route, um, we would fight the collector, but I'm gonna opt to not fight the collector without nail upgrades. He does not scale with your nail. Um, and he is also a very challenging fight. What we are gonna do is go open up the love tower. Heck. Primal Aspids are the worst enemy in the game. We're gonna fight, uh, Collector on our way to Kalo later. Bruh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Can I don't do that, please? This is also when we're gonna grab the scrub. I'm gonna heal for one in case I'm an idiot and get hit by this, uh, this birdo. Alright, how many grubs is that? Alright, I think this is when I want to go to Crystal Peaks. 39, so there's six that I'm- no, seven that I'm still missing. Notice I benched that City of Tears. Um, I did that on purpose. I specifically want, um... I specifically want that bench right now. We're gonna go buy what we can from the vendors right now. Get Greta's <gasps> mask. Get compass. Compass is a percentage. Uh, we're gonna get Nailmaster Glory. Oh. We're gonna get Grim. We're gonna basically get most of what we can in Dirt Mouth right now. Bama. All right, how many is that? So that's a whole mask. That's one percent. So we just have one more mask to get. Um, where's our last mask shard that I haven't gotten? Uh, where's the last mask shard that I haven't gotten? Because I'm only skipping uh, Guardian Seer, Flower, and Fungal Core. Rather do Flower Quest. <laughs> Alright, Gathering Swarm, fuck it. So Compass, Swarm, Stalwart Shell, let's grab that, fuck it. Well, uh, we're not getting the essence one. That, that's the seer one. I don't remember. Fuck. Which one would I have missed? Which one would I have missed? It, it would be something that I haven't done yet. Hmm. I know where the last two vessel fragments are. They're, um, there's one from Seer that we're actually going to be getting. Alright, Grim. Uh... I don't know, I'm, like, legitimately missing one. That I forgot about, apparently. Oh, right. This might actually be a difficult skip. I didn't consider this. Um, basically, you can you can come down and do this the other way. Um, 
if you want to. But it's pretty simple. You can stop your C dash at the end of that and just use wings. Um, it's only possible if you have wings, I'm pretty sure. And Rage Guardian was one that I was skipping. Um, Guardian, Seer, Flower, and Fungal Core were the ones I was skipping. That guy dies to a Cyclone Slash and then three more Nail Hits. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Welcome. I hope you like all of the emotes and stuff. Okay. So, what am I doing? I need to go get deep focus. Ow. So if you stand, like, if you end up right next to this wall right here, um, you can dive down, kill this enemy, and break the wall all at once, which makes that a whole lot easier to deal with. You can do this section however you see fit. That's the easiest way for me. It's actually really funny. If you don't have wings in like a rando, watching speedrunners try to deal with that rim is hilarious because none of us actually know the cycle. All right, so deep focus I have. I'm considering actually doing Guardian because I cannot for the life of me remember where that last mask shard is. Because I, I have... Yeah, there's literally one. I don't remember. Oh, Grub Father. Yeah, that was it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're skipping Guardian completely. Oh, that's dumb. I'm sorry, DJ. Bye, Guardian. We're not gonna talk ever. Bye. I don't know, man. I like having a little bit of soul going into this. That way we can just kill the enemies. So right here, here's a, a nice little shortcut. Try to get as high as you can on this wall. And you can literally crystal dash across this whole room without having to do any platforming or fighting any enemies. Super easy. So fireball that guy, get him out of your way. Fireball these guys, get them out of your way. Crystal dash so you don't have to do annoying platforming. I really like um, that thing that I just did. Watch. If you dash from like the middle of this platform and then pogo and then dash again, that's like the easiest way to get out of this room without taking damage. Hey, 99. It's okay. I mean, it's probably other reasons. So there's a skip you can do here where you can pogo this enemy. Um, or you can choose to go all the way around. Either way is fine. We just need to get up here to get this um, pale ore. I said you can go around. It doesn't make a difference. I don't want to have to do that, okay? <laughs> Going around is a nightmare. Just learn how to do the pogo. You're welcome. The guy who asked me to do this said as long as there's no pro MLG strats, and that's not pro MLG. That's like basic pogoing. Just learn to pogo, jeez. Hello? Can I not pogo these spikes or... Okay, there. Yeah, that's basic MLG strats. <laughs> Heck. Okay. So this is our last pale ore. Or second to last. Do we have five or how many pale ore? <sighs> Fucking jeez. I should probably go in with some kind of route, right? One month and two days till your birthday? Nice. Our birthdays are pretty close. My birthday's August 3rd. I'm going to be an old woman soon. 
Oh, we have three Pelor. So there's one from Kalo. There's one from Seer. And where's the last one? Help, brain. Oh, grub father, fucking. Okay. You're an old till you hit 90? I disagree a little with that. So, Watcher Knight is another boss that scales with your nail. Um, we're about to do that, by the way. You can get a shriek before he actually attacks, and if you shriek him and then die of him, he dies instantly, so... Oh, wait, you know what I just remembered? Okay, so the thing is unfair and it kind of gives me an advantage because I'm doing um, the rando version, which is how I get the player tracker to work. Um, but I did pick up the charm notch in um, Fog Canyon, which means that we can equip uh, Dream Wilder. So I'm thinking we should go to see her now. Yeah, that was you. <laughs> I thought I recognized your name. I just wasn't sure. I made a couple of mistakes already, but hopefully it's still helpful. How many relics do I have right now? Hollow Nest Seal. Uh, we can get a King's Idol from here. Sell some stuff to Lim. Make a little bit of money like that. Oh, holy heck. I'm sorry, Xenu. That sucks. English is so slow. Oh my god. Kuna Badu Ba. English is so slow. Help. <laughs> no, custom night is not forced, but it is welcome. Alright, so the last vessel that we need for our last vessel percent is, um... is the one from the fountain. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, 1200 is the next one. Okay, so yeah, we can't get anything else from Seer. Um, she gave us some extra relics, though, so that's cool. Um, let's go grab this King's Idol and save and quit back to our City of Tears bench. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, Watcher Knight is one of the bosses that scales with your nail, but it scales at nail 3 and 4, and we're going to be getting nail 3. So, wait... One, yeah, okay. We're gonna be getting nail three. So we don't want uh Watcher Knight's HP to scale. It dies to three D Darks and a couple of nail hits in between. It's really easy. So before that, we're gonna do Watcher Knight. Bluetooth? Who still uses Bluetooth? Hello? Oh, I forgot to put on Dream Wilder. Heck, Dream Wilder is important for this fight. It makes it a lot easier. Because you can just sit there and stock up one soul after killing enemies. Um, there's two different versions of the fight that you can do. Um, oh, let me mark Dream Wilder while I remember. Heck, movement is hard. Yeah, Chinese, it's not even that there's less text, like, less characters and stuff. It's also just, like, faster text for some reason. Alright, place a dream gate here. Right here. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, we want soul. Really? What a bitch. <laughs> we want soul. So I'm going to show you guys a really cool skip. Uh, this will work on vanilla. He's always directly in the center whenever you enter this room in the vanilla. Um, however, since I am playing with the modding API, 
he can be in any location. So I'm gonna check where he is before I waste my shrieks. You don't even have to go in there and fight him. You can just shriek him through the floor. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Alright, so we don't need to bench there. You can if you want to. Lurian is a hard save, so it's not really going to make a difference. Can you heck off, please? We need to go over here and save the grub. Money. I have to save the grubs. I could have chosen to skip Elegy. I thought about it, by the way. That was something I considered skipping. Because we would only need 35 grubs if I only needed up to the Pale Ore. And then I realized that grubs are pretty fast. So I decided against it. You're welcome. Alright, before this fight starts, don't go to the right yet. You can fill up on soul. All right, so watch your night. It's basically the same fight as my any percent tutorial. Um, D dark is still your best move if you're trying to play really safe because it gives you iframes. Um, but if you're trying to be really fast about it, you can abyss shriek them and then shade dash through them and then abyss shriek them again, depending on the pattern that they give you. So I'm going to be doing that fight because that's what I'm comfortable with. And then as more are spawning, you can just get three nails in. Really quick fight. Granted, you don't have to go that fast. <laughs> you don't have to go that fast, but spells are your best bet to kill them very quickly. Nice lag. Free money. And now we've completed basically every single boss that uh, scales with your nail. So we can feel free to get nail upgrades at this point. After we get Lurian, that's the next thing we're going to do. Alright, this is our last Dreamer. So the last of the 3% from the Dreamers. So for nil 3 we need, like, I think about just over 3,000 total for all of them. Okay. Lyrian's dead, Hollow D. We're going to be getting nails 1 through 3 now. Alright, and this is why we placed the dream gate down here. We're gonna use this a couple of times. Collector is our last boss, that's a percentage, and then we'll be done with bosses completely. Gotta talk to Helmadelkin before he'll buy stuff from us. Laura Clock boys. I'll pop down the archer. Down the down the archer. Laura Sun, down the archer. He just says the same thing. You don't get lore. Down the archer. You're a talent. You're a talented collector, all right. He says. Down the archer. 
Or do you only get lore for like the first one that you give him or something? All right, another really easy crystal dash that skips a lot of annoying platforming. Right here, you see where that, that big lip is? You wanna be like right underneath that. And you can just crystal dash across this whole room without having to platform at all. Fast and easy are one and the same. Same thing with right here. You can just crystal dash from the top of that wall. Not have to do any stupid platforming. Mm, uh, Who wants to platform in a platformer? Gross. Alright, so this is nail one. Oh, hey, Jam Boy. Welcome back. Gardel, Gardel Ikari. Juncha. Gardel Ikari. Alright, one more. Oh, you're still here? Heck off. Of course I'm still here. Rude. Juncha. Juncha. All right, now we can go back to our dream gate. Um, does that say 43 grubs? I should have 43 grubs, because there's only the three more at Collector. Okay, good. So another cool C dash right here. You can crystal dash basically anywhere on that wall and just C dash across the whole room without doing any tedious, annoying platforming. Okay, Lurian is a hard save, so you do want to come over here and bench, um, just in case you happen to die. But once you're in Colosseum, uh, Colosseum is a hard save, so don't worry too, too much about it. I placed the Dream Gate there, too. That's very important to do. Um, reason being... We want to be able to get back to that stag, and Kalo being a hard save is uh, a little risky. Time to fight Collector. I would like to demonstrate the quick kill, but I'm not going to because I don't expect people to be able to pull that off. Dreamwalder allows you to get hits on enemies a lot faster like that, so... Anyways, we're gonna be using, um, we're gonna be using Abyss Shriek as often as possible. Um, the nail upgrades are gonna help us kill his enemies in one hit. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. I mean, the fight's pretty straightforward. Whenever you stagger him, Dream Nail him for extra soul and then Abyss Shriek him. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Anytime he's directly over you, try to get an Abyss Street. Dream Nail. It's a pretty easy fight. What area is the Hollow Knight? I don't know. Green path? <laughs> path of pain. Can you don't? <gasps> Alright, these are the last grubs. Me, Mama Ma. Alright, collector's map is not a percentage. We can go now. Saws don't move fast enough in Mario. Ouch. I didn't know that. All right, so we still need 7,000 Geo. Just for the last nail upgrade and the last, uh, the Fountain Vessel Fragment. So, I mean, money is really, really tight right now. Um, I don't remember how much we get for Kahlo, but I do know that we have enough Geo for Kahlo right now. Hello? My nail hit just went straight through him. Disagree. All right, I'm about to do a Kahlo tutorial, guys. That's a little shortcut you can do, but you can do this platforming however you see fit. 
I will be doing Kalo exactly like I do. Or I'm not doing Kalo 3. Kalo 3 is a percentage all its own. That's one that I'm skipping. Um, I What was I about to look at? Oh, I have uh, Spell Twister, Shaman Stone, and Dream Wilder equipped. Uh, that's basically the charm build that I've been using for the entire run. And it's no different for Kalo. Um, technically, that should be all the charm notches that we currently have. So, Nail Arts are going to be your best friend. Nail Arts and Dream Wilder are going to be your best friend. Uh, Great Slash and Cyclone Slash are the thing that I probably use the most in Colosseum. You want to keep a certain distance from these enemies, but Cyclone Slash as soon as they spawn. They die in four hits of Cyclone Slash. And they die in one Shade Soul and then one, uh, two Nail Hits. These guys also die in four Nail Hits. Um, they also die in two Shade Souls. Keeping your distance and learning the um, order that they spawn in is going to make the whole fight a lot easier. Primal Ospids are a pain in the dick, but they die to one Great Slash or one Shade Soul. Great Slash, Shade Soul. Definitely practice Kalo before you undertake this, or play a lot safer than I am. Alright, so the Vengeful King dies to a Great Slash and two Shade Souls or an Abyss Shriek. Um, I'll do the Great Slash one to demonstrate how it works. Or you could Pogo and then Abyss Shriek. But that one takes a little bit higher skill. It just takes a little bit of practice to learn how to do that one. What? What? Bitch, die! God, I hate Primal Aspects. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to Grubfather's next, so... That last one's always gonna spawn too fast, so... Just fireball that one. What? These guys also die to one, uh, Great Slash or one Shade Soul. Um, don't worry too much about your health here, either. Hello? So those die to three Shade Souls and two Nail Hits. Lim, thank you for the follow, welcome. But yeah, don't worry about your health too much because when you pick up that Charm Notch, it's gonna heal you. So if you're at really low health after the Gruze Moms, don't waste soul healing on that because you want to have as much soul as you can for Kalo 2. And this is gonna be the last Kalo that we're doing. <laughs> I know, right? Like, goes. Oh, wait, I didn't put the thing. No. Well, I left him in Deep Nest, so he's technically not dead. <laughs> I didn't need him. Fuck him. Also, it's slower because you'd have to fight him, and there's no benefit to fighting him. Alright, these guys die to a Great Slash and a Shade Soul, or two, um... I don't know. Hold on. I can't brain. I can't brain. Just try to follow what I'm doing. 
because explaining it is really hard. Fuck. Well, that wasn't how that was supposed to work, but it worked out anyway. Um, for this phase right here, um, just knock him off with Cyclone Slash and then go chill on the wall and the birds can't hit you. Alright, next is the hoppers. These died of one Great Slash and one nail hit with nail three. Or three nail hits. Or a Shade Soul and one nail hit. Shriek those guys as they're spawning and they die very quickly afterward. I actually learned that one from Monsta. I didn't even consider shrieking them. <laughs> before that. That was weird. What? It like froze and ruined everything. Next is the aerial phase. These two callos are really easy. It's callo 3 that gets really hard. These guys die to a great slash and three nail hits or five nail hits. First Thou Blobble dies to two Abyss Shrieks and a couple of Nail Hits, and the second one dies to three. Wow, you're being a jerk. That was really annoying. <laughs> I was being a troll. How much Geo does that put us at? Because we still have a lot of things to buy. Alright, we can Dream Gate out of here. So that's both Kalos. Um, we did Collector, we did Watcher Knight. So we're done with all bosses. We've done every boss that we have to do. Let's go to Dirt Mouth. Oh wait, I always think I'm like outside. Heck. Yeah, we still get money from uh, Grubfather, but I don't know if it's that much. Kalo 3 is a percentage, but it's one that I'm skipping. Alright, Heavy Blow and Sprint Master. That's the last one of these that we needed. Sprint Master, Heavy Blow. Bench here, because Kalo is a hard save, and we want to be able to come back here. Um, Minderbug? Heck didn't kill Minderbug. I'm gonna go ahead and get this for extra Geo. There is a seal up here. Um, also, for simplicity's sake, just to make sure that I won't miss anything, we're gonna go into the Black Egg Temple right now and pick up World Sense. Uh, World Sense is an item that allows you to be able to see your percentage, which is completely pointless in a normal speedrun, but we're gonna get that just to make sure that we do in fact have everything that we need because we're almost at the point that we're just basically wrapping up what we 
what we're working on, basically. All right, this gives us world sense. We're currently at 91%. Very, very close. <gasps> oh, Minderbug! Ah, oh, the sneaky fucker waited until I wasn't coming out of the bottom. <laughs> So we have 46 grubs, we have all the grubs. Um, this takes a little bit longer when you're not doing the rando version. I think it takes about three minutes. So tack about three minutes on to what I have right now. Also, that is our last mask percent. Um, and we're just gonna grab all of the other stuff that he gave us. Um, Wait, what was that? Oh, the pale ore. I almost forgot the pale ore. All right, so we have Grub Song and Elegy now. Um, we just need to go buy Salubrous Charms. So we're gonna go do that now. And I think we have everything from Sly already too. So, and then we're going to save and quit back to dirt now. Oh, right. That happens. Fuck. <laughs> I completely forgot how to do all of this, apparently. Don't do what I did. Streamer is an idiot. You heard it here first, guys. You're welcome for taking Flower Quest out, by the way. I didn't hear any thank yous. Get fucked, Jennifer. <laughs> You're welcome, 99. Alright, we really don't need any other charm notches. Everything else is fine. Alright, so that's long nail, quick focus. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. Uh, life heart. Uh, lifeblood heart. Oh, that was one that I bought from her. So we should only be missing King Soul and Lifeblood Core. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go back down into the abyss. Grab that real quick. Um, we have just enough Geo. Let's go ahead and use our Dream Gate to get back. We have exactly enough Geo, actually. Um, so let's go get our last nail upgrade. couple of minutes. Well, fine. You can fucking do that on your own achievement run, okay? <laughs> um, because it brings the stag, so you don't have to wait for the stag to come later. Yeah, waiting for the stag waste time. Alright, that's all I need. I don't I don't need all of the geo that I collected. I mean honestly so far this run has been okay. Like there's definitely things that I messed up, and it's kind of frustrating that um I couldn't do the charm notch collection, right? But I think I managed to make it work and make sense. Um, 
Yeah, lost nail upgrade. Do I kill him or does he live? Vote now in chat. Gets 100% PB. <laughs> nah, that has to be run on older patches, not legacy. Pick the hands. Live. Shriek him. <laughs> Rip. I should have dream nailed him, but what if that knocks him off? <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, he can die by a spell. I've done it before and people were in shock. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and put on, um... Heart. How many notches would we have? You might have to overcharm this if um if you don't have the right amount of charm notches. You can go ahead and buy extra at Salubra. If you do, go ahead and sell all of the rest of the things that I didn't sell. And that should be enough to cover how much you would be in deficit compared to where I am. There's also two arcane eggs that you... Oh wait, no, there's one arcane egg in the lifeblood core room that you do have access to. If you do end up having to overcharm it and you do take a hit, just go ahead and save and quit and go back and try again. But this is it. This is our last soul upgrade. Um, HP upgrades are done. Soul upgrades are done. Nail upgrades. Um... All the bosses, we're only missing lifeblood core, and that should equal 100%, right? Yeah, 99, lifeblood core is going to be the last one. And then we can go fight Hollow Knight. You don't even have to do true ending to do this version. You don't have to get King Soul. You don't have to get a Woken Dream Nail. Nothing. I hope this is enough. <laughs> if it's not, I, I actually don't know what to do. Yeah, you would have six charm notches, so you would have to overcharm this with the charm build that I had earlier. It's really not that hard of platforming, though, if you play safe. Ow. My face. Also, ow. I forgot how to do this apparently. <laughs> so if you go left instead of right, that'll bring you to the lifeblood core. I mean the uh, arcane egg in the lifeblood core room. All right. Uh, actually, I want the soul that I have, so let's just dream gate back. Joni's blessing and lifeblood core should be switched, but you can't enter the lifeblood room without. Um, Jonies. It multiplies the amount of hearts that you have. Oh, wait. <laughs> there we go. Those are our charms. Yeah. They could. I don't know. I don't know why Team Cherry did what they did. And there it is, you can see completion, 100%, I accidentally fireballed. Minderbug, you little shit! <gasps> He's never there! <laughs> He's never there! Hollow Knight, I, I kind of went over how to fight him whenever I did my, um, any percent tutorial. It's pretty easy, once you enter the Hollow Knight room, by the way, it hard saves you there. So you don't have to worry about benching if you're at full health, because um, it is a hard save. Yikes, that sounds terrible, Cox. So the difference between my any percent guide and what I'm doing right now is that we have a Bistry. Um, a Bistry can hit him for a lot of damage. 
You can easily do the die fight, but a Shriek is pretty powerful. Also, don't use spells during his stabby phase because he only takes one damage from anything. There he goes. GG, that is 100%. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, actually. I didn't know that until I started speedrunning the game. GG. There it is. 100%. It's the bad ending, but it is an ending. Wait, you can do that? <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. No, there isn't. 100%. 100% uh, legacy um, is a glitched category because the old patches are, like, glitchy as all fucking shit. They're terrible. Um, and then 106% is max completion of the Grim True patch. Um, and then 112% is max completion of current patch. So I can't do a 100% speedrun on current patch because then you're basically just omitting stuff. Kind of like I did to do this, but this is for the achievement, so it's not, like... It's not defined rules. As long as you fit the requirements for the achievement, you're doing what you're supposed to do. So yeah, I did this in three hours loadless. Um, it's probably more like... Actually, hold on. It's still going. <laughs> I did it in like three and a half hours RTA. So you can take your time, you can die a lot, you can dick around a little more, you can grind for Geo, like, whatever. And you should be able to do it in sub-10 hours, the way that I just did it. Not even counting, like, being able to do it in sub-20. Five hours is top eight. <laughs> I could probably do better than that. I just don't want to do glitch runs. I don't want to do glitches. Glitches aren't really fun. Hmm. It's alright. This is just for the Chivo. And I'm waiting for credits to roll so that I can show the 100% because I'm obviously not going to get the achievement pop-up. I got the achievement whenever I was making my practice files for 106%. And I got the any percent speedrun achievement while making my practice files for all skills. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have a lot of commission work and stuff to work on. That's why I haven't been doing speedruns as much, but thanks for watching, guys. I wish I had known about Hollow Knight back then. I probably would have backed it and then been really disappointed with how glitchy the first part was. I think you get that if you get over 100% or 100%. So, yeah. I spent like an hour and a half after I woke up today routing this out, so you guys better be grateful. <laughs> I did the thing. So it's 3.16 in-game time. The in-game time for some reason is always like halfway between real time and uh, game time, which is loadless. I don't know why the in-game time doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't really get it. But yeah, get the Steel Soul achievements and then try it. Well, good luck, Evil. Honestly, you could do this route with Steel Soul and it would work out the same way. I hope it is helpful. 
and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll